The claps must be louder than the sound. The music, yes. Come on, the challenge. Bright and beautiful faces of our dear beloved mothers. How enthusiastically not a single day practice they have missed. And they do deserve it. Come on. Let's clap. Come on. I would now like to share the meaning of our school prayer. Our school prayer tells us that we can know God through their manifestations and holy books like Quran Sharif, Ram Charit Manas, Guru Granth Sahib and Kitab e Addas. The essence of God is unknowable, but we can gain knowledge of Him through His messengers. It is through them that we learn what God is and what God wants us to be in life. At CMS, spirit is nurtured by an inspiring school environment. I hope you agree with us, dear parents. Yes? I want to see you. Come on. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. We believe that spiritual understanding combined with a reason expands a child's ability to perceive, to empathize, and comprehend. We believe in the unity of hearts. We believe in Jai Jagat. I repeat, we believe in unity of hearts. We believe in Jai Jagat. Ladies and gentlemen, hold your breath to see the unique procession which will bear the message of international peace and unity. 
We will now witness this philosophy in the form of a magnanimous procession. I now request our respected chief guest, Mr. Sanjeev Bhutani, his wife, Ma'am Nisha Bhutani, to please kindly come up on the stage to take the guard of honor. Please welcome our chief guest and his wife with a huge round of applause. I request our respected founder manager to kindly escort our respected chief guest on the stage to take the guard of honor. Here, can you see it? Can you hear it? Yes? The band. Here we have our respected chief guest along with our respected founder manager. So can we clap and welcome them? Come on. Here comes the beautiful and scintillating procession. The procession, the beautiful procession. CMS believes in Vasubhava Kodumbaka, meaning the earth is but one country and mankind is sentient. The procession is being led by our respected principal of Sydney Goddessery School, Arnison Campus, Nam Jatsa Akul, followed by the in charge of and coordinators. Next we have the world of Tilsa. Symbolize a world without war. Swing together in fear of love. The world citizens are followed by students dressed beautifully in red and white traditional attire. They surely add grace to the occasion. Let's we have the performance of the song, Rei Karabi Me, come on! Come on, the audience, we want to join you! Followed by the touch bearers of fitness, Yoga, the young yoga lovers, all set to pay a tribute to Fit India Movement. Followed by the young artists who are all set to welcome our chiefs on this jubilant occasion. How beautifully are the dress. They are followed by the representatives of different religions. The principle behind the motto of Jai Jagat is Vasudeva Kajamaka. The earth is but one country and mankind is citizens. Next we have Kawali, a form of a Sufi music and it becomes more divine when it is Render to our dear parents, followed by our dear, beloved, and adorable mothers. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to hear you. Come on. Yes. The claps motivators. Come on. So nice to see all the enthusiastic mothers. Not a single day they have missed. Every day they have come for the practice and how enthusiastically today also they are participating. Followed by the students, the future generation will be plans of different countries, spreading the message of unity. taking a salute. The principle behind the motto of Jai Jagat is the ancient philosophy of Asadheva Kutumbakam. All religions are one. God is one. Mankind is one. Let's give it up for the wonderful and magnanimous procession.
Over to Master Anand Sharma. To attain a peaceful world, we need torch bearers of global competencies who would possess not only global citizenship and a resilient character, but would also think critically with creative collaboration and communicate with the world to exhibit their wholesome personality. Coming up next is a world parliament session in which we will deliberate upon role of family and school for all-round development of a child, integration of 21st century skills into education from rhetoric to reality, role of sustainable development goals in reimagining the world, role of youth in promoting sustainable development goals, education as a tool to foster unity, brotherhood, and a new world order. And what role does it play in making this world prosperous, progressive, and bountiful? and all present here, I welcome you all to CMS News. I am here to contemplate on the cause of unrest in the world and how peace can be restored. It has been observed over countless centuries that world civilization has witnessed many instances of warfare, battles and conflicts duly capable of employing the power of transmuting the humankind into forms which the emperors and rulers had never thought of. Today, peace has predominantly become political work towards settlement of issues between the nations through military involvement, cessation of arms and weapons, and dialogue on less violent civilian matters. Political leaders take chances of peace in their hands and play a role in making or breaking the nations. Nations engage in dialogue and negotiations to settle down their ethnic problems and border issues. Political, diplomatic and media powers contribute their part to facilitate this peace process. But hatred and hostilities dominate the situation as peace is not achieved at individual levels. To achieve a peaceful treaty is not that simple. Global peace has been hindered by many challenges which include both natural and human-made causes. The root cause has to be found out and eradicated. The family has to play its role of inculcating virtues like patience and tolerance right from the beginning. The school thereafter should take charge of polishing these virtues further and encourage the children to think at a global level. The rationale behind achieving peace lies in the positive understanding of give and take, humanity, forgiveness and non-violence. The right understanding will take the world in the right path. I am Tadushri Varshne from CMS News and now we present before you the set of World Parliament where the delegates of different nations have come together under one roof to discuss the current problems in the world and their probable solutions. So, over to the World Parliament because global problems require global solutions. Education is a continuous and creative process. Its aim is to develop the capacities late is, is to develop the capacities latent in human nature 
and to coordinate their expression for the enrichment and progress of society by equipping children with material, human and divine knowledge. Through education, releases capacities, develops analytical abilities, confidence in oneself, willpower and goal setting competencies and instills a vision that will enable a person to become a self-motivated agent of social change serving the best interest of the community. The objective of education lies beyond earning degrees. It implies inculcating moral values, positive thinking, attitude of helping, attitude of giving to the society, ethical values and to foster a motive to bring about a change in the society. Respected members, I sincerely welcome you all to this session of World Parliament. The first topic on our agenda is the role of family and school for all-round development of a child. Amongst the greatest of all the great services that can be possibly rendered by a man to God and mankind is the education of children, building their character and inculcating in their tender hearts the love of God. The field of education is unexplored and the goal of education is unattained. Ladies and gentlemen, the house is open for discussion. Member nations who wish to express their views may kindly raise their placards. Member Nation Sri Lanka, you are recognized. Thank you, Speaker Ma'am. Family is a quintessential part of a child's education. It imparts a gleeful and positive environment which aids in bettering the child's personality and cognition. In the modern era, wherein the more the merrier is sought, parents are excessively ornate, working to make the ends meet, which eventually leads to neglecting the imperative and obvious, such as creating supportive surroundings, foster optimism, welcoming communication, acceptance and appreciation of individual differences, and indoctrinating sheer excellence. Thank you, Member Nation Sri Lanka. Indeed, the choices the parents make today will affect their family bonding and make it strong. Thus, parents aiming to provide the best to their kids tend to influence educational advancements and are ready to help school leaders escalate students' achievements. In this context, if any Member Nation wishes to express his or her views, you may kindly do so. Member Nation South Africa, you may take the floor. Thank you, Speaker Ma'am. I would like to say that from the very beginning, the children must receive spiritual education in school. Therefore, the task of modern educator is not to neglect deserts, but to irrigate deserts and sow the seeds of fertility. Irrigating deserts involves nurturing an empathetic student and instilling a hope that there is meaning and purpose of human existence. Children must be reminded that the moral character must come first, for unless the character be trained, acquiring knowledge will prove injurious. Thank you, Member Nation South Africa. Truly said, now we need educators who should impart holistic education and a school must act as the lighthouse of the society. The children must embark upon a journey to lead the world ahead in all spheres for which the family and school must collaborate. 21st century requires a radically different orientation to participate effectively in the increasingly complex societies and globalized economy that characterize today's world. Students need to think critically, communicate effectively, collaborate with diverse peers, solve complex problems, adopt a global mindset, and engage with information and communication technology. Therefore, the next topic on our agenda is the integration of 21st century skills into education, from rhetoric to reality. In this context, if any member nation wishes to express his or her views, you may do so. Member Nation Pakistan, you may take the floor. Thank you, Speaker, sir. 
Education in the 21st century is about giving students the skills they need to succeed in this new world and helping them to grow the confidence to practice those skills. With so much information readily available to them, 21st century skills focus more on making sense of that information, sharing and using it in smart ways. 21st century skills are tools that can be universally applied to enhance ways of thinking, learning and living in the world. These skills include critical thinking, creativity, problem solving, metacognition, global citizenship, collaboration and communication. Thank you, Member Nation Pakistan, for rightly expressing your views. Today, education needs an expanded definition and amalgamation of 21st century skills into education can bring about a change in both individual lives and the entire society. Member nations may kindly raise your placards to express your views on this agenda. Member Nation India, you may take the floor. Thank you, Speaker, ma'am. In the face of 21st century education, the concept of six C's has become pertinent among educators. Schools are striving to predominantly culminate credence alongside alacrity in their students to accomplish myriad competencies, to think critically and solve crucial real-world problems plaguing mankind. It is also important to infuse a sense of clear and confident communication and amalgamate collaborative practices leading to encourage respect for culture and honing creativity conducive to connectivity. Thank you, Member Nation India. In this era, education holds prime importance at every stage of an individual's evolution. Every step should be carefully nurtured and edged. Not only are the circumstances contrastingly different, but demands in the real world are also like chalk and cheese, which require drastic elucidation in the 21st century with unabridged innovation. Moving on to our next agenda, the role of sustainable development goals in reimaging the world. In this context, if any member nation wishes to express his or her view, you may do so. Member Nation Australia, you may take the floor. Thank you, Speaker Ma'am. To our ancestors, sustainability was never the target. However, the scenario has altered for the worst, which seems to invite the impending. The horrors of the catastrophic crisis confounding Ukraine have baffled one and all. It has made the planet a step closer to impairment with humongous vulnerability than ever. The tragic loss of life and property has made the world stand on the brink of ultimate devastation. Sapiens are amply occupied with otherwise vital things and aim at saving their skin to an extent that they have transcended into a state of stupor, oblivion to the exigencies of nature. Compassion and humanity is what can rescue this world from these horrendous occurrences. In view of the abominable happenings in Ukraine, Education is the strongest weapon available on the planet right now. Strong-minded citizens, infused with growth-oriented outlook, shall be the torch bearers of a sustainable world with resources at the disposal of children. Thank you, Member Nation Australia. Member Nation Ukraine, you may express your views. Thank you, Speaker, sir. My friend from Australia has rightly expressed his views. However, I would like to say that Ukraine has been suffering from unspeakable adversities and is pleading to be aided by anyone who wishes for peace and well-being on the planet. A supreme superpower engaged in such destruction is far from sanity. Therefore, we require selfless leaders and not politicians ravaging for power. Thank you, Member Nation Ukraine. The series of unending events in Ukraine is truly 
not a human deed. The tragedy of a war is that it uses man's best to do man's worst. Let's talk about the outcomes. I believe that an army of principles can penetrate where an army of soldiers cannot. When a thought of war comes, oppose it by a stronger thought of peace. Thoughts of hatred must be destroyed by a more powerful thought of love. Thoughts of war bring destruction to all harmony, well-being, restfulness and content. Thoughts of love are constructive of brotherhood, peace, friendship and happiness. Member nations who wish to voice their opinions regarding the same may raise their blood cards. Member Nation USA, you are recognized. Thank you, Speaker, sir. I would like to reinforce the fact that in 2015, 195 nations agreed with the United Nations that they will change the world for the better. This will be accomplished by bringing together their respective governments, businesses, media, institutions of higher education, and local NGOs to improve the lives of the people in their country by the year 2030. The aim of Sustainable Development Goals is to achieve a world where there is no poverty, zero hunger, good health and well-being, quality education, gender equality, clean water and sanitation, affordable and clean energy, decent work and economic growth. It is then that the world will progress and peace and harmony will prevail. Thank you, Member Nation USA, for rightly expressing your views. The thoughts of universal peace must be instilled into the minds of the younger generation in order that they may become armies of peace and real servants of God. The next topic on our agenda is the role of youth in promoting sustainable development goals. Peace and development coincide in a way that there is no peace without development and no development without peace. Today, we have with us harbingers of peace from CMS Lucknow who believe that in order to achieve sustainable development goals, only planning and innuendo are not enough. The time is right to quit oneself and leave. These representatives will discuss the next topic on our agenda, role of youth in promoting sustainable development goals. Thank you, Speaker Sir. We at City Montessori School regard man as a mind written gems of inestimable values and education can alone cause to reveal all its treasures. The slogan, each one teach one, is a motivation for everyone to understand their moral and social responsibility to teach at least one illiterate person which will make a big difference in the society. We at CMS motivate our students to teach one marginalized child or a person from their neighborhood so that they are able to develop basic reading and writing skills, gain confidence while moving about in the society, know the importance of education and get motivated to seek formal education in school, thereby bringing 100% literacy in the world. Thank you, ma'am. Youth has an important role to play in the development process of a nation. It can be pivotal in achieving awe inspiring outcomes and can also aid in creating prolific awareness amongst the people. I would like to invite another representative from CMS and learn what the youth is doing at the local level. Thank you, Speaker, ma'am. We, the students at RESO campus, have formed the social service club called Swayam, which is an initiative to build a bond with the society. The children voluntarily donate utility items, which are further donated to the needy senior citizens living in old age homes. We not only take initiatives for the older people, but we have organized several campaigns of donating books and stationery to the underprivileged, thereby trying to uplift their community. The motive is twofold, is to make the aged needed, loved and a part of this society 
and our students understand compassion and the significance of being privileged. Commendable efforts indeed. Small acts of kindness still ripples of change to unify the world, which is the dire need of the hour. Human beings are inherently noble, and the purpose of education is to cultivate such attributes, skills, virtues, and qualities which will enable them to contribute their share to the building of an ever-advancing civilization. The next topic on our agenda is education as a tool to foster unity, brotherhood, and establish a new world order. Knowledge is as wings to a man's life and a ladder for his ascent. Its acquisition is incumbent upon everybody to foster unity, brotherhood, and establish a new world order. Consideration should be given to teaching the concept of world citizenship as a part of standard education of every child. Member nations may raise the placards to express their views. Member Nation England, you are recognized. Thank you, Speaker Ma'am. Humanity shall sustain and peace will be established only when terror and tumult of hate shall cease and life be refashioned on the anvils of peace. This civil lining seems bleak given the paradoxical surge of tides. However, attainment of goals is only possible when a storm of generosity and gratitude sweep over every soul on this planet, when contentment and felicity shall be synonymous with the offerings of joy to the sorrowful and heaven for the distressed. Thank you, Member Nation England. Adversity shall never lean upon the wall of humanity. Given such patrons as you all are, desirous of peace and just laws. The sun in the heaven of bounty, a gem on the diadem of wisdom, the shining light beyond the firmament of generation, a fruit upon the tree of humility shall be all ours to deploy, contingent on the companionship of virtues to flood the world with law-abiding citizens gauged with profound virtues. With this mindful thought and inclination, I adjourn the session of World Parliament. Everyone is requested to kindly rise for the Peace Pledge. We pledge to use our words to speak in a kind way. We pledge to help others as we go throughout our day. We pledge to care for our earth with our healing hearts and hands. We pledge to respect people in each and every land. We pledge to join together as we unite the big and the small. We pledge to do our part to create peace for one and all. Indeed, a very purposeful deliberation. Friends, very well spoken. Family unity is an instrument that plays an important role in changing the world. And if we are dreaming of a peaceful world, then the integrity of the family bond must be constantly considered. And the rights of the individual members must not be transgressed in the 21st century education. CMS is celebrating World Unity Millennium and trying to make every child good and smart. And this has been possible due to the grit and determination of our respected founders. Uh, thank you, Aman. Uh, I extend a hearty welcome to our respected founder director, Dr. Mrs. Bharti Gandhi. Ma'am. Uh, please, ladies and gentlemen, you have a job to do. Come on, welcome ma'am with a huge round of applause. Uh, 
It has been said very rightly, a leader is one who knows the way and shows the way. These words very well define our respected principal man, Ma'am Jyotsna Atul. I now request our respected principal ma'am to welcome the August gathering and extend her warm greetings to all. Thank you, Shamita. A very good evening to all of you. Can I hear it from you all? Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Wonderful. Thank you so much for acknowledging. So once again, a very good evening to one and all present here this evening. And with immense pleasure, I extend a very warm welcome to our most esteemed chief guest this evening, uh, Mr. Sanjeev Bhutani Ji, Director General uh, RTSO, and his best half, Mrs. Nisha Bhutani Ji. So can we put our hands together for our guests, please? So we consider extremely blessed to have you amidst us once again, and this time with your best half. Your presence always makes us happy, and I'm sure each one of us are delighted to have him here. Are we delighted or not? Yes, so we put our hands together for him. Thank you. I also accord a very, very warm welcome to our most respected founder manager, Dr. Jitish Gandhi, sir, and most respected founder director, ma'am, Bharti Gandhi. Please put your hands together for them as well, because we are nothing without them. We also welcome our Managing Director and President, Professor Geeta Gandhi Kingdon in absentia. She's been very busy. I had a talk with her in the afternoon. So she would not be able to join us, but we very warmly welcome her as well. We welcome Mr. Ranadev Ghosh from the head office. And I could also see Shishir sitting over here. So Mr. Shishir Shivasta, so we welcome you wholeheartedly. And this gentleman, of course, I... Okay, Mr. Milin Raj. We welcome you as well. And uh, we also welcome our uh, uh, Mr. Satyendra Ji, who is the secretary to the DG, and his wife as well. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. And now, dear parents, a very, very warm welcome to all of you. So put your hands together for yourself now. It should be a louder round of applause. The presence should be felt from the back. I cannot hear it from the back the audience at the back. Put your hands together for yourself and for your lovely children. Your support and cooperation is very, very important, dear parents, without which we are so incomplete. So thank you for placing your trust in us and your blessings will surely make RDSO do wonders. Today we also have some very special guests with us and let's put our hands together for them as well. They are the senior citizens of an old age home who are here to grace this occasion. They live together in Sarojini Nagar Old Age Home and they have come all the way from there to be with us. So please welcome them by putting your hands together. And with us, all of the people who have come here from Sarojini Nagar Old Age Home, please put your hands together and give your hands to your own people. Please sit down and sit down. So please, one more time, they have come out first time they have come out. It's a big thing for them. Thank you so much. We would like to wholeheartedly thank Mr. Ashok Kumar Singh, the Director of Help Age India, and Mrs. Rashmi Mishra, who is the State Project uh, Coordinator from Help Age India, for facilitating their visit. Thank you very much, ma'am. We very warmly welcome you as well. Please put your hands together to welcome Rashmi, ma'am. Please stand up. Let everybody see you for all the good work that happens in the campus, which is related to the, you know, the community and partnerships. Ma'am is the one who is facilitating all the activities. Thank you so much. Dear parents, we are living in the times where pace of events is very fast. So fast that today's latest becomes obsolete tomorrow. Alvin Toffler, one of the greatest contemporary writer and a thinker, he calls it the future shock. I believe that educators are the agents of social change in educating today's children. We cannot afford to lose sight of the fact that we must teach them to grapple with the problems of their generations, their society and their world. The children of today need to be readied for the global stage, a generation of young people who are thinkers, inquirers 
articulate and confident to take onto the world stage. Thus at CMS, the incorporation of global competencies within the education system has always been the fundamental means to prepare the students for the future. We strive to give them a total experience to excel at academics, participate in all the school activities with enthusiasm and actively involve themselves in community service projects. Team CMS RDSO always works hard to equip the students with the power of a resilient mindset. The joint efforts of all the sections are much evident and they have reaped fructifying results in the past. I sincerely believe that a school environment which is collaborative draws on the strength of the stakeholders and fosters a positive school ambience will surely make a difference in the life of our students. We wish to see all our students retain the capacity and creativity to adapt themselves to the needs of the time without sacrificing the good and time-honored ideals and the moral values. Very aptly said that if a plant is carefully nurtured by a gardener, it will get planted properly and produce good fruits. So talking about the academic achievements, I'm happy to share that our board results this year have been very, very encouraging. And the highlights of the board examination to begin with 2021-2022 results, they comprise of Master Shiv Pandey, who had a whopping score of 99% in ISC, and Ms. Sadika Goel, she scored 98.40 in ICSC respectively. Loud are they your children. Thank you. In class 10, 81 students out of 122, they scored above 90% marks. And in class 12, we had 48 students out of 101 who scored above 90% marks in their board exams, with 10% marks in many subjects. So we sincerely hope, thank you, thank you for doing this for your children, and we sincerely hope that this year's results are going to be even better, and they're going to be as rewarding and encouraging as in the Esther years. So we look, forward, we look forward to another year of achievements by keeping our promises made to ourselves to soar even higher. But another phenomenal step in the campus has been the first ever alumni meet that was held on the 10th of December in our campus itself, when the ex-students of the CMS diaspora came under one roof to share their valuable experiences and act as great role models for the current students. Our CMS management has moved mountains to provide quality education to students. The transformed infrastructure of the campus with introduction of the new science and the computer labs has added another chapter to the glorious saga of CMS RDSO campus. I would like to wholeheartedly express my gratitude to the management for their unstinted support in maintaining our standards and motivating the CMS students to become global citizens with deep-rooted values for a sustainable world. I want to sincerely thank my diligent team. Please put your hands together for my team, for all the teachers, the support staff of CMS RDSO, without whom we are so incomplete and who work tirelessly to ensure that the diverse needs of students are met through a well-planned instructional program. I wholeheartedly thank you, dear parents. You are the stakeholders and you play a an important role, a pivotal role in the progress of the school. So your support empowers us to do even better. I pay my gratitude and for showing that faith in us. Reaffirming to the thought that the mind of a child is like a blank page. As mentors, we need to embark upon it with the power of hard work, the ink of knowledge, and create a sketch which will be everlasting in the child's life. I convey my best wishes to one and all for the forthcoming year. May the Almighty keep us safe and secure and bless us all with peace, tranquility and goodwill. For God is our refuge and our only strength. And with Him, everything is possible. Thank you very much for being so patient. And now we have uh, Shamita Ma'am taking over the floor. Thank you, ma'am. Success seems to be connected with action. And successful people, they keep moving. They never stop. 
It's a continuous process. So true for our ever enigmatic and enthusiastic, our guide, our strong pillar, our respected founder manager, Dr. Jagdish Gandhi, sir. Can you put your hands together? Yes, with a huge round of applause. Please welcome our respected founder manager. We are extremely honored to welcome most honorable chief guest, Shri Sanjeev Bhutani ji and his beautiful wife. And uh, I also welcome especially the grandparents who have come in large numbers and sitting just in front of us. So I welcome all the grandparents and I also welcome all the respected parents who have come in large number from RDSO campus. Just now DG Saab, DG RDSO was asking me, are they all from RDSO? Well, of course, they are all from RDSO. They are the parents of the children of RDSO, your RDSO. So we are welcome you all. <coughs> uh, I would like to say a few words about uh, Sri Sanjeev Bhutani ji, Director General of RDSO. Sanjeev Bhutani ji has joined as Director General RDSO on 30th of July 2021. He was earlier working as Principal Chief Electrical Engineer in Western Railway. He graduated from REC Kurukshetra University in the year 1984 and belongs to the Indian Railway Services for Electrical Engineers 1984 batch. He has a vast experience of railway and metro working, having served in various capacities as branch officer in electrical, electric loco operations and maintenance, electric traction distribution on Ratlam, Badodra, Kota and Bombay Central Division of Western Railway, Electrical Construction of South Eastern Railway and Western Railway. He has served in construction unit on South Eastern Railway and Western Railway and as BSU head in Urban Transport Unit as Rights LTD Gurgaon. He was deputed as a team leader for training at Hitachi, Japan and played a key role in setting up of manufacturing facilities of Hitachi Traction Motors as CLW. He has prepared detailed project reports for more than 10 metros and provided details, detailed designs, consultancy, for setting up a maintenance depot, power supply and traction system for Bangalore and Ahmedabad metros. He is the most outstanding personality and it is our pleasure to welcome such an eminent guest and uh, amongst us as our chief guest. While working as principal chief electrical engineer in the Western Railways, he achieved many milestones like the National Energy Conservation Award in 2019 as well as in 2020, setting up of maintenance facilities for electric locomotives in diesel sheds, electrification of 1243 route kilometers, the highest on Indian railways, introduction of electric traction on RJT and v, uh, BVP divisions and establishing world record for running of double tra stack container freight services on electric traction under world's highest rise overhead equipment 7.57 million, uh, million on 10th of June 2020. He has visited France, South Africa, 
United States of America for attending International Railway Strategic Management course. He has a he is a gold medalist of Kurukshetra University and has received national award for outstanding services in 2002, 2003, and and uh, three 2003 general managers award for rendering meritorious services. We are indeed honored to have you amongst us, respected sir. We are grateful to you that you have taken out time from your extremely busy schedule to be with us this evening to encourage us all. We are extremely honored to welcome such an all most outstanding personality, a world personality or topmost personality of India amongst us as our chief guest. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. We now have a welcome song in honor of our chief guest, IRA. So, here the curtain opens. मॉन्टेसरी स्कूल द्वारा आयोजित इस कार्यक्रम के मुख्य अतिथि आरडीएसओ के महानिदेशक श्री संजीव भूटानी जी का हम हार्दिक स्वागत एवं अभिनंदन करते हैं आपने स्वर्ण पदक के साथ आरईसी कुरुक्षेत्र विश्वविद्यालय से वर्ष उन्नीस में स्नातक किया आप ऐसे प्रतिभाशाली छात्र रहे कि स्नातक करने के साथ ही आपका चयन इंडियन रेलवे सर्विस में हो गया आरडीएसओ के महानिदेशक नियुक्त होने से पहले आप वेस्टर्न रेलवे के प्रिंसिपल चीफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियर के पद पर कार्यरत रहे श्री भूटानी जी को रेलवे और मेट्रो की कार्यशैली का व्यापक अनुभव है इस अनुभव का आधार ये है कि आपने इलेक्ट्रिक लोको ऑपरेशन और मेंटेनेंस तथा इलेक्ट्रिक ट्रैक्शन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन के क्षेत्र में रतलाम वडोदरा कोटा और मुंबई के साथ ही राइट्स लिमिटेड गुड़गांव में विभिन्न दायित्वों को संभाला वेस्टर्न रेलवे में पीसीईई की जिम्मेदारी संभालते हुए आपने अनेक महत्वपूर्ण उपलब्धियां हासिल की आपको वर्ष 2019 और 2020 में राष्ट्रीय ऊर्जा संरक्षण पुरस्कार से सम्मानित किया गया हिताची जापान में प्रशिक्षण हेतु आपको टीम लीडर नियुक्त किया गया इस दौरान आपने शानदार उपलब्धियां अर्जित की फ्रांस दक्षिणी अफ्रीका और अमेरिका जैसे देशों में आयोजित इंटरनेशनल स्ट्रेटजिक मैनेजमेंट कोर्स में शामिल होकर आपने देश का गौरव बढ़ाया आपको उत्कृष्ट योगदान और गुणवत्तापूर्ण सेवा के लिए राष्ट्रीय पुरस्कार से भी सम्मानित किया गया है रेलवे अभियांत्रिकी के क्षेत्र में महत्वपूर्ण कामयाबी अर्जित करने वाले और अति विशिष्ट पुरस्कारों से सम्मानित श्री संजीव भूटानी जी का हम पुनः हार्दिक स्वागत और अभिनंदन करते हैं Shubhi 
of the civilization will be impossible. Presently, as you all know, the world is caught in a cycle of miseducation, wherein harmful character traits are passed from one generation to another. So women should be educated. The emphasis on the education of the parents and the family and educational environment makes parents' education an integral element in the process of educating children. Children must be constantly encouraged and made eager to gain all the summits of human accomplishments. From their earliest years, they should be taught to have high aims. How should they behave? What should be the grooming? What should be the etiquettes? How should they behave outside in the outside world? Yes? And they should know how to conduct themselves well. To be pure, to be undefiled and should also learn to be of powerful resolve and form of purpose in all things. Over to Aranya. Moving 
on with the program, we now have the lamp lighting, a very auspicious ceremony. When darkness comes, let us not condemn the dark, but light the lamp to illuminate. Darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. Education is the movement from darkness to light. I now request our respected founder manager, Dr. Jagdish Ghani, sir, to kindly escort our chief guest, Mr. Sanjeev Bhutani, Director General RDSO, and his wife, to, or, to accompany him to the stage to light the lamp of learning. I also request our respected founder director, Dr. Mrs. Bharati Ghani, to please come up on the stage. The lamp of learning that will illumine the world with global values. I also request our all the other guests to please come up on the stage. Yeah. 
indeed. Memories to cherish forever.
Thank you all for joining the lamp lighting ceremony. Give light and the darkness will disappear itself. If you are the light, you cast away the darkness. A candle loses nothing when it lights another candle. As we work to create light for others, we naturally light our own way. Appreciation is the highest form of prayer, for it acknowledges the presence of good whenever you shine the light of your thankful thought. Thank you all for creating a pious and radiant atmosphere. So powerful is the light of unity that it can illuminate the whole earth. May God grant that the light of unity may envelop the whole earth. Thank you everyone for joining the lamp lighting ceremony. Let the light of peace and unity spread all around the world. Thou kind Lord, unite us all. Let the religions agree and make the nations one, so that they may see each other as one family and the whole earth as one home. May they all live together in perfect harmony. Let us all cherish the dream and the desire of our respected founders who believe in global citizenship and Vasudev Kutumbakam, which means that the earth is but one family and mankind its citizens. We at CMS believe in sanity of hearts and character building, thereby making our students a resilient and a spiritual person. We now have the All Religions Prayer, which signifies the worship of the Almighty and that different religions are the paths to reach the one and the same God.
People living in far off places often go to meet their near and dear ones using different means of transport, the train being the most commonly used for far away places. Indian railways, a means of national integration, bringing people together from all sections of the society. What a noble deed do they perform. Presenting before you a song that tells us how railways help to bring people closer. सरकार के गृह मंत्री सरधे राजनाथ सिंह जी और सिटी मानतेश्वरी स्कूल के बच्चों आदरणीय गृह मंत्री जी का भारतीय रेल परिवार की ओर से अभिनंदन करता हूं और आभार जताता हूं कि उन्होंने अपने व्यस्तम समय में से समय निकाल करके हमारे छोटे से आग्रह पर इस ट्रेन को झंडी दिखाने की स्वीकृति प्रदान की मंत्री श्री मनोज सिन्हा जी 
सबसे पहले तो मैं आभार व्यक्त करना चाहता हूं अपने माननीय रेल राज्य मंत्री श्री मनोज जी सिन्हा के प्रति कि जो ही मैंने उनसे लखनऊ कार्ड गोदाम ट्रेन चलाने का अनुरोध किया बहुत ही सहज भाव से उन्होंने स्वीकार कर लिया और पिछले बजट में ही उन्होंने इसकी घोषणा कर दी और जिस समय हमारे सिटी मांडेसरी के बच्चे एक सामूहिक गीत प्रस्तुत कर रहे थे तो मैं बहुत गौर से उसे सुन रहा था मेरी तो इच्छा यह हुई कि मैं रेल मंत्रालय से यह अनुरोध करूं कि जो गीत इन्होंने रेल के लिए बनाया है और श्री जगदीश जी गांधी सिटी मांडेसरी के जो कर्ता धरता है उनकी प्रेरणा से बनाया है तो इसको तो सहज रूप से अपने प्रत्येक कार्यक्रमों के लिए रेल मंत्रालय को इसे स्वीकार कर लेना चाहिए क्योंकि बहुत ही अच्छा गीत इन बच्चों ने प्रस्तुत किया है कि जब भी कोई ऐसे सार्वजनिक कार्यक्रम रेल मंत्रालय के द्वारा आयोजित होते हैं तो उसमें यह गीत प्रस्तुत हो तो ज्यादा अच्छा रहेगा रेल ऐसी है जो सबका मेल कराती है इसमें जाति पंथ और मजहब का कोई भेदभाव नहीं रहता है सभी साथ मिलकर बैठते हैं एक अच्छा संदेश इस गीत के माध्यम से मिलता है कि सिटी मॉन्टेसी के बच्चों ने यह एकत्रित किया है और प्राइम मिनिस्टर नेशनल रिलीफ फंड के लिए ये 26 लाख रुपए का एक ड्राफ्ट आपको अनुदान स्वरूप भेंट किया जा रहा है ये सीएमएस के बच्चों की तरफ से
beautifully it has been conveyed to us that the railways play a vital role in our lives and in bringing people closer to us. Next time, when you board on a train, I'm sure that you will hum this song. Remember, life is like a train track full of possibilities and happiness. So don't lose any opportunity in grabbing them. Thank you, Shreya. Uh, sorry. Thank you, Devanshi. I now request our respected chief guest, Mr. Sanjeev Putani, Director General RDSO, to please come up on the stage and bless us with his enriching words. Welcome, sir, with a huge round of applause. Can the applause be louder? Come on. Sure. Just make your presence felt. Yes. Respected Dr. Bharti Gandhi, Dr. Jagdish Gandhi ji, founder of City Montessori School, Mrs. Jyotsna Atul, principal CMS RDSO campus, teachers, students and dear parents and grandparents also have come today. Uh, a very warm good evening to you all. At the outset, I would like to express my gratitude for inviting me to such a glittering uh, function today. Let me admit that uh, it was one of the best annual day program I have ever attended. All the children who participated uh, in the program, they acted so well. And it appears that a lot of hard work has gone into it by the students as well as the he um, put a very beautiful show today and it was very mesmerizing to see the students uh, um, they, 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 they have uh, uh, in fact spoken in uh, the, they have delivered the dialogues without any fumble it was very very uh, um, uh, amazing and uh, all the programs in fact uh, Dr. Gandhi was telling me that uh, all the items uh, are conveying some message and at the same time they were entertaining uh, uh, last time I attended the function on 25th of March I thought uh, so few of the items are a bit of repetition but nevertheless I found that you had done a lot of improvisation and they were better than the last time three cheers to all the students and all the teachers <laughs> yeah okay so, so not not an all the program were beautiful and uh, they were flawless. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Gandhi, for giving very elaborate introduction of mine. In fact, uh, I wonder uh, from where do you get uh, such information about me? Few of them even I have forgotten. Being from uh, Central Government Service, I have served in many part of the country. In fact, uh, during every transfer, I used to wonder that uh, how my children will cope up uh, with these transfers. But uh, I found that uh, the children are very innocent and adjustable. They made new friends wherever they have gone. Today, they have grown up and are well set with the grace of God. As I stand before you today, I am feeling nostalgic. Uh, and remember the days when I used to attend such functions as father. I can very well relate with the joy and thrill of all the parents who have come all the way to see their little ones perform here today. I hope that they would be feeling very proud of uh, their children to see them perform on the stage. I understand that all the children have been given opportunity to perform on the stage today. It is great uh, effort. Uh, made by CMS uh, RDSO campus. I congratulate all the teachers, principal, for putting such a beautiful show. CMS 
is one of the largest chain of school with more than 56,000 students and 4,500 staff across 19 campus in the city of Lucknow. I hope these figures are correct and you may have added uh, some more branches I may not be aware of. So today it is 19 branches as I understand. Uh, I know about the reputation of CMS right from the days of my um, probation when I have visited uh, RDSO in the year 1988. In fact, at that time also CMS had an impeccable reputation. Most of the officers of railways, they wanted to come to RDSO since the campus provides a very a good uh, education facilities to the students and uh, especially the CMS campus being uh, located uh, in RDSO. Everybody wanted to come to the RDSO. Thanks to the rock solid uh, foundation that you are laying uh, for the students, I would like to appreciate the efforts being made by CMS management to provide best in infrastructure and support to the students in their endeavor to excel in the studies and also become responsible citizen of this great nation. Dear friends, a nation is as good as its citizen. Schools and teachers have to play a very significant role in developing the society. Children are innocent. They learn most of their habits and virtues from their teachers. No doubt Education can impart them the knowledge to get the decent job, but teachers can inculcate in them moral values, ethics to become a responsible citizen and serve the society. It is heartening to note that our nation has made substantial progress in this regard. Over the last few decades, India has many, has remarkably transformed its uh, higher education landscape. Today, we have many Indians as head of the multinational companies like Google, Microsoft, Twitter, Adobe, or IBM, etc. I can see a very bright future for the children over here who shall also excel in their life and go on to become CEOs of multinational companies or can even set up their own uh, startups in future. My only advice to you is to stay focused and follow your heart your sincerity, hard work and positive attitude shall help you in realizing your dreams. I would also like to request the parents to take care of their words, help them in their studies, motivate them occasionally and not be very pushy. There can only be one topper but that is not the end of the world. Keep working hard and try your best. Remember knowledge and hard work never goes unrewarded. I would also like to acknowledge the dedicated efforts and invaluable service provided throughout the year by the teachers of CMS. Finally, on the occasion, I would like to extend my sincere thanks to CMS founder, Dr. Bharti Gandhi ji and Dr. Jagdish Gandhi ji and principal CMS RDSO, Mrs. Jyotsana and all the students of the school for organizing such a beautiful function today. I congratulate Dr. Jagdish Gandhi and family for their unstinted support and service in the noble cause of education to transform the society. Frankly speaking, I am uh, deeply impressed uh, by the passion of Dr. Jagdish. I just learned that he is uh, 90 year old and still working 18 hours a day. That, that is something to emulate friends. You are an inspiration for the next generation. My heartiest best wishes to all of you for a very bright future. May you stay strong, healthy and God fulfill all your dreams and desires. Stay blessed always. Thank you very much. Jai Hind. Thank you sir for your enriching words. Your presence has motivated us. Thank you a lot, sir, for your appreciation. It means a lot to us. Can we have a huge round of applause for our respected chief guest? I request our respected founder manager to honor our respected chief guest for the shawl. And my 
and Nisha Bhutani with a sari. Yes, keep clapping. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. An educational approach directed towards personal growth and social transformation based on the belief that human beings are essentially spiritual, however, must go well beyond a mere statement of purpose. The purpose of education for individuals is to develop the powers and capacities latent within them so that they may contribute their share to an ever advancing civilization. Universal education must be relevant to the true needs of a community and contribute to the unification of mankind. It must enable both people to move in the direction of their own paths and help them appreciate Appreciation is very important. You motivate a person and he will do far better than what he wishes to. Appreciate those universal qualities that distinguish the entire human race. Education should lead to the discovery and perfection of one's capabilities and instill a commitment to serve the best interests of the community and the world as a whole. Undoubtedly, education is a continuous and creative process and its aim is to develop the capacities which are latent in human nature and to coordinate their expression for the enrichment and progress. Education in terms of the knowledge, qualities, skills, attitudes and capacities become conscious subjects of their growth. Universal education must be relevant to the true needs of a community and contribute to appreciate and distinguish the entire human, human race. An adequate understanding of some of the concerns of social progress, such as health, sanitation, agriculture, crafts, and industry. When words and actions are not directed by a moral force, scientific knowledge and technological know how leaders readily to misery as they do to prosperity and happiness. Through education, savage nations become civilized. The field of education is unexplored and the goal of education remains unattained. There should be a balance between culture and values. Commitment to the unity of mankind implies a balance between the study of one's own cultural heritage and an exploration of those universal qualities that distinguish the entire human race. Human beings are inherently noble and the purpose of education is to cultivate such attributes, skills, virtues, and qualities.
qualities as will enable them to become a total quality person. TQP. A positive attitude towards learning matters a lot. You think positive, you do positive, everything is positive around you. Indeed, the cultivation of positive attitudes towards learning is now coming to be perceived as a precondition for the achievement of most social and economic goals and objectives. A reasonable degree of excellence in at least one productive skill through which individuals can experience the truth that work is worship. When performed in a spirit of service and can secure the means of existence with dignity and honor. In reality, all are members of one human family, children of one heavenly father. Humanity may be likened onto the very colored flowers of one garden. There is unity in diversity. Each sets off and enhances the other's beauty. Let's witness the tiny toddlers who will take us for a joyride of some of the most beautiful cities of India, namely, Alpi, Srinagar, Kolkata, Ajmer, Ratnagiri, Chandigarh, Guwahati, Vadodara, and Chennai. Get ready for the sojourn. As you can see, these small, tiny tots, they are already on the stage to rock you. Can you welcome them with a huge round of applause? Put your hands together. See how happy they are performing before you. In all different colors from different states. Yes? I'm from Kolkata. 
I speak Bengali, but I'm just like you. My name is Asundara, I'm from Madhubara. Shamushe, I'm from Bajamir. My name is Shamushe, I'm from Bajamir. I speak Urdu, I'm just like you. My name is Aramhati, I'm from Bahati. My name is Aramhati, I'm from Guwahati. I speak Assamese, but I'm just like you. My name is Benjamin, I'm from Benjamin. My name is Benjamin, I'm from Benjamin. I speak Bengali, but I'm just like you. My name is Rani Mai, I'm from Chennai. My name is Rani Mai, I'm from Chennai. I speak Bengali, but I'm just like you. My name is Jaswinder, I'm from Chandigarh. Jaswinder, I'm from Chandigarh. I speak Punjabi, but I'm just like you. My name is Madhuri. I'm from Ratnagiri. My name is Madhuri. I'm from Ratnagiri. I speak Marathi, but I'm just like you. My name is India.
What a mesmerizing performance! My little friends have tried to integrate unity and diversity through various dance forms. A huge round of applause for my friends. By the time the next item is ready, I would like to share a small poem by a small child. He has written about his teacher. He wants to share this. A teacher is someone with whom a classroom is a magical place. She is the one because of whom there is a smile on every child's face. When she is there, creative energy is everywhere. She is a catalyst who genuinely cares. When she is there, desire and dreams are awakened. When she teaches, the educational agenda is shaken. In the hands of a gifted teacher, the best quality is possible. When a teacher is there, gifts and talents are refined. A teacher is the only one by whom the future is designed. Let's have an applause, some appreciation for our dear teachers, yes? Can we clap for them? The purpose of life, as you know, ladies and gentlemen, is to know God and to love Him. Help a man in achieving the purpose of life. Knowing God means knowing the teachings of God and faithfully implementing His teachings through thoughts, words and your deeds. Loving God means obeying the teachings of God and loving his entire creation. At CMS, we all know that three types of education is imparted, material, human and divine, which is very important for every child to acquire. Divinity is a must for a child. The parents, now a job for you, the parents must exert every effort to rear their offspring to the religious, for the children to attain the greatest of adornments. Every child is potentially the light of the world and at the same time remember the cause of its darkness, if he is not groomed properly, if he is not taught properly, if he is not being told what is the difference between right and wrong. Students must acquire a balanced set of capacities that are at once academic, spiritual and vocational. Artisans Craftsmen and agriculturists, tradesmen, they all know their worth and value. Strain every nerve to acquire both inner and outer perfections. For the fruit of the tree has always been and will every be perfections both within and without. It is not desirable that a man should be left without knowledge or skills. For he is then but a barren tree. He doesn't have any education, so he doesn't know anything. Over to Devina. Thank you, ma'am. 
Mahatma Gandhi said, and I quote, If we are to teach real peace in this world, and if we are to carry on a real war against war, then we must begin with the education of the children. I unquote. How beautifully these lines reflect the far-sightedness of the great father of the nation. If we want to attain world unity and peace, it becomes extremely crucial to inculcate global competencies in the 21st century education system so that the child is well equipped with material, human and divine education. Ladies and gentlemen, we bring before you a message of peace and unity, the World Unity Prayer Ceremony, an initiative by CMS to spread the message of peace and unity all over the world. Recognition 
of the oneness of the Lord, the most important of all duties is to have due regards for the rights of one's parents. The children must constantly strive to bring gladness to the hearts of their father and mother, that thereby they may attain the good pleasure of the Almighty. I pray for the happiness and well-being of all the people of North America. May unity prevail in North America. May unity prevail on earth. consideration. If love and agreement are manifest in a single family, that family will advance, become illumined and spiritual. What incalculable benefits and blessings would descend upon the great human family where unity and brotherhood were established? I pray for the happiness and well-being of all the people of South America. May unity prevail in South America. May unity prevail on earth. educated spiritually and intellectually. A fundamental component of such an enterprise is the imperative need to educate women into full partnership with men, providing them with a range of opportunities to express their newly found competencies, which do not undermine their unique role as mothers, the artisans of character and the builders of civilization. I pray for the happiness and well-being of all the people of Europe. May unity prevail in Europe. May unity prevail on earth. A mother is the primary source of empowerment of an individual, without which the social transformation and advancement of the civilization will be impossible. Children who are cradled in faith and wise guidance from the beginning receive spiritual training directly from their mothers, who continually bring God to their minds and make mention of Him. They tell of his greatness and rear the child gently in the way of tenderness and sound character. I pray for the well-being and happiness of all the people in Africa. May unity prevail in Africa. May unity prevail on earth.
something stable to hang on to a cultural connection a sense of their own past a hope for their own future most of all they need what great parents can give them the perfect blend of love laughter and happy memories when parents are continuing that to the near past to the events and beliefs and experiences that so strongly affect our lives and the world around us they fill gaps in our mobile society a senior generation also provides a society a link to our national heritage and traditions we all know when parents values transcend and possess the wisdom of distilled pain and joy thus close the space between generations i pray for the happiness and well-being of all the people of oceania may unity prevail in oceania may unity prevail on earth make the greatest progress in the shortest span of time let them open their eyes wide and uncover the inner realities of all things let them become proficient in every art and skill and learn to comprehend the secrets of all things even as they are let us make every effort in order that these children may be rightly trained and educated and that each one of them may attain perfection in the world of humanity i pray for the happiness and well-being of all the people of asia may unity prevail in asia may unity prevail on earth regard man as a mine rich in gems of inestimable value education can alone cause it to reveal its treasures and enable mankind to benefit therefrom the thoughts of universal peace must be instilled into the minds of all the students in order that they may become the armies of peace and unity the real servants of mankind so that each student may consciously realize that he is a brother to all mankind irrespective of religion or race come let's join hands in making the future generations stronger resilient encompassing the human values all well equipped to achieve the sustainable development goals may unity prevail on earth may unity prevail on earth 
May unity prevail on earth. 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 innocent hearts will pray for peace, then God will surely answer their prayers. May peace prevail on earth. Let there be unity forever. Let us all join hands together. Let all live happily forever. I'll share a small anecdote by the time the, the next program gets ready. I'll share a small anecdote with you. A blind boy, he was sitting on the steps of a building with a hat by his feet. And he held up a sign which said, I am blind. 
please help. And you won't believe there were only few coins in the hat. A man who was walking by, he saw the blind man. He took a few coins from his pocket and dropped them into the hat like others had done. He then took the sign, turned it around and wrote some words. He put the sign back so that everyone who walked by would see the new words. Surprisingly, the hat began to fill up. A lot more people were giving money to the blind boy that afternoon, the blind boy, he did, he, how could he make out by the footsteps when the people were approaching towards him and they were dropping the coins into his hat? He could understand that constantly he was getting coins in his hat. That afternoon, same afternoon, the man who had changed the sign, he returned and he came to see how things were how many coins were there in the hat because in the morning if you remember he had seen only few coins in the hat the boy the blind boy he recognized his footsteps and he asked were you the one who changed my sign this morning what did you write man the man said i only wrote the truth. I said what you said but in a very different manner. What I had written was today is a beautiful day and I cannot see it. Help me do so. So ladies and gentlemen there is a huge difference in what you, how you have an approach towards things. The child wrote, I am blind, please help me. And the man wrote, I cannot see this beautiful world, help me do so. Both the signs they told the people that the boy was blind. But the first sign simply said that the boy was blind, he needed pity, he needed sympathy and he needed the money. So the moral of the story is, one should have a positive approach towards life, yes? So let me feel if you are there or not, ladies and gentlemen, come on, make, your audience, make, make me feel that you are there and that you can very well do with your claps. So we welcome the next program, but I'll pass on the mic to Harshti. Harshti, please come. In the words of our most honorable Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi. Coming up next is a presentation entitled Kaivalya, which stages yoga asanas for a fit and healthy life. Yeah. 
से विलग न मंत्र न ज्ञान न पीत यज्ञ Let us take a pledge of being fit and healthy and take a deep dive into yoga. Over to Ms. Bhav. Coming up next is Kavali. that God 
cannot be present everywhere on earth. So, he has sent our dear parents to look after us. Their hands have always been full of guidance, care and blessings. Coming up next is a soul stirring Kabbali. A reminder to all that parents are above everything in this world and nobody on earth can ever love you more than your parents. Parents, please sit down. You're blocking the camera. Please sit down. It's a humble request. Please sit down, parents. It's a humble request, dear parents. Please settle down. The sooner you settle down, we start with the program then. Please settle down. Kavali is a religious Sufi music that celebrates devotion and relationship with God. It is an act of worship that fills our hearts with divine love and helps us feel closer to the Creator, the Supreme Power. We now present before you this holy form of music. Uh, before we start with the Kavali, The 26 letters of success in life. A says always speak the truth. B says be regular and punctual. Character C is the shining glory. D dedication is the best virtue. Early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy and wise. Failures are the pillars. F Alphabet F states that failures are the pillars to success. Glorify your nation. Alphabet G. H. Honesty is always the best policy. I. Industry is the key to progress. J. Join the company of good people. You'll always learn something. K. Kindness is the ornament of human beings. L. A suggestion, look before you leap. M. Make the hay while the sun shines. N. Nothing ventured, you gain nothing then. P. Pride comes before a fall. Q. Question. Radiate cheerful smiles. S. Self-help is the best help. T. Time and tide wait for none. U. United we stand. Divided we fall. We, virtue is its own reward. W, where there is a will, there is a way. So now we have the Kavali. Tanmay, over to you. मेरी दुनिया में इतनी जो शोहरत है जरा गौर करिएगा मेरी दुनिया में इतनी जो शोहरत है ये सब मेरे माँ बाप की बदौलत है जिसके होने से मैं खुद को मुकम्मल मानता हूँ मेरे रब के बाद मैं सिर्फ अपने माँ बाप को जानता हूँ इसीलिए कहा गया है कि अगर 
जिंदगी में कामयाब होना है तो अपनी मां बाप की दुआएं बटोरते चलिए क्योंकि सब कुछ मिल जाता है दुनिया में मगर याद रखिए मां बाप नहीं मिलते मुरझा कर जो गिर गए ये एक बार डालो से ये ऐसे फूल हैं जो फिर नहीं खिलते जन्नत के रास्ते भी उन्हीं के लिए खुलते हैं जो अपने भगवान रूपी मां बाप को संभाल के रखते हैं इस कवाली के जरिए हम ये संदेश देते हैं कि जिस घर में मां बाप की कदर नहीं होती उस घर में कभी बरकत नहीं होती इसलिए आइए हम सब ये मिलकर प्रण लेते हैं कि हम अपने मां बाप की आंखों में कभी आंसू नहीं आने देंगे
to our parents for their unconditional love and support. This beautiful presentation reminds us that we must appreciate love and our parents all the time. We are so busy growing up, we often forget that they are growing old. Our prosperity in this world depends upon the good pleasure of our parents.
check, check. God has blessed each one of us with a variety of talents. Each child is a gift of God on this beautiful earth. And the child is blessed with myriad talents and abilities so that he may be able to make a place for himself in this world. The purpose of education is not only to provide academic excellence to the child, but also to identify the immense potential, best of it, the child is blessed with, and to make the best of it, keeping in mind the society. With changes in educational trends, the emphasis has shifted from solely academic achievement to all-round development, holistic development, I mean, of a child who scores 90%. Marx might not be able to put forth or exhibit his abilities, but his speaking skills will always make him sail through every situation, every interview. Often it is seen that a child, maybe he is good in other skills other than academics, and he surely progresses in life. upon the children to exert themselves to the utmost in acquiring skills, the art of reading and writing. Writing skills that will provide for urgent needs will be enough for some and then it is better and more fitting that they should spend their time in studying those branches of knowledge which are of use. Hello. The most vital duty in this day is to purify your characters, to Check. correct your manners, Check. and to improve your doubts. The child should know how to conduct himself in front of others. Over to Devina. A tuneful, heartwarming story based on the real life story of the Von Trapp family singers with Maria, the tomboyish postulant at an Austrian abbey who becomes a new governess in the home of a widow naval captain with six children brings new love of music into the home.
vibrant mother was so big and I find Maria. Sister, considering it's Maria, I suggest you to look in unusual places. I hope this new infraction ends whatever doubts you may have about Maria's future here at the Abbey. I always try to keep faith in my doubts. After all, the pool of a black sheep is just as small. We are not talking about sheep. We are talking about candidates for the novitiate. I agree with you, sister. Of all the candidates, Maria is the least... Sisters, sisters, please, let's all take a deep breath. Now, what do we think of a church, Maria? Her dress has got a tear. She waltzes on her way to mass and whistles on the stair. And underneath her wimple, she has scarlets in her hair. A weaving heard is singing in the abbey. She's always late for chapel, but her penitence is real. She's always late for everything except for every meal. I hate to have to say it, but I'm very fondly feel Maria's not an asset to the Abbey I'd like to say a word in her behalf Maria makes me laugh <laughs> Many a thing you know you'd like to tell her Many a thing she ought to All you say, how do you keep a wave upon the sand? Oh, how do you solve a problem like Maria? How do you hold a wound in your hand? Reverend Mother, may I? in changing from her old clothes to her new ones. Thank you. 
heart and she heads towards the mansion. Yet, she is confident. I can do this. I have confidence. I have confidence. I have confidence. I have confidence. I have confidence in sunshine. I have confidence in rain. I have confidence that spring will come again. Besides what you see, I have confidence in me. Strength doesn't die in numbers. Strength doesn't die in bed. Strength lies in nice so peaceful slumbers when you wake up. Wake up! It's healthy! Oh, I trust that in my heart too. Oh, but I trust you from sight of home. I have confidence in confidence and Oh, hell. Captain, he will arrive shortly. All right. Wow, look at that. Thank you, Franz. You may leave. Good afternoon, Fräulein Maria. Good afternoon, Captain. Why do you stare at me like that? Oh, you don't look at all like a sea captain, sir. Well, you don't look at all like a governess. I don't like the dress. You have to go change. But I don't have any other dress. When we enter the Abbey, all of our worldly possessions are given to the poor. I see that. I'll get you some material. I trust you will be an improvement on the last governess. She stayed here only for two hours. And now, for the children. Children, this is the new governess, Fräulein Maria. Give your names at your signals, and you, Fräulein, listen carefully. Learn their signals so you can call them.
That's Gretel. Now, let's see how well you listen to this. Oh, no, sir. I'm oh, sorry, sir. I've never run such a vessel. Vessels are for animals and not for children. And definitely not for me. Fraulein, were you this much trouble at the Abbey? Oh, much more, sir. Hmm. I see. Excuse me, sir. Yes? I don't know your signal. Well, you may call me Captain. At ease. Now that there is just us, would you please tell me all your names again and how old you are? I'm Friedrich. I'm 14 years old and I'm impossible. Really? Who told you that, Friedrich? Fraulein Josephine, four governesses ago. I'm Brigitte. Well, you didn't tell me how old you were, Brigitte. Well, I'm Brigitte. She's Louisa. She's 12 years old and I'm 10. And that's the ugliest dress I've ever seen. Bring it up. You shouldn't say that. Why not? Don't you think so? No, it doesn't matter at all. I'm good. I'm incorrigible. Congratulations. What's incorrigible? I think it means you want to be treated like a boy. I am Mata and I'm going to be eight on Tuesday. I'd like a pink umbrella. Pink is my favorite color too. Yes, you're Gretel. And you're five years old? My, you're practically a lady. Okay, I have to tell you all a secret. I have never been a governess. You don't know anything about being a governess. Nothing. I need lots of advice. The best way to start is to tell father to mind his own business. I always be late for dinner. And make sure you slow whistle real loudly like this. During dessert, always pretend to blow your nose like this. Don't you believe a word they say for I Maria? Why not? Because I like you. I like you, Gretel. I like you too, Maria. Well, good night, children. It's time to go to bed. Well, here are our materials. Captain had it, sent it from town. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, do you think you could get me some more material? How many crystals does a governess need? Oh, no, 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 no. Not for me, for the children. I want you to make them some play dresses. The one trap children don't play. They march. Okay. Well, the captain is going to visit his baroness. I think he'll be married by the end of the summer. Oh, that's lovely. The children will have a new mother. Yes, I guess. Well, good night now. Good night. <laughs> These are a few of my favorite things.
for the bet really well just this once now is now is straight for the boys you won't see them boys are brave you're not scared are you not at all we just wanted to make sure you were scared oh it was god's idea Well, whenever I'm feeling sad, I just try to think of nice things. What kind of things? Mm hmm. Let's see. Like raindrops on roses, whiskers on kittens. Raindrops on roses and whiskers. following simple instructions only during thunderstorms come on children you heard your father go to bed good night to you too good night who means where your heart is my heart is where music is music acts like a magic key to which the most tightly closed heart it opens so now let us all immerse ourselves into the mesmerizing sound of music So 
music is a universal language that all of us can understand. However, it is Maria's moral values, love and care that underline the strength of togetherness, understanding and empathy. The effervescent personality of Maria helps to create a strong bond between the father and his children, whose hearts had drifted apart after the death of the mother, making everyone realize that family is the most central and definitive element in a person's life. Can we clap for them? We now have the guiding, the motivating force of CMS, the strong pillar of our institution, our respected founder manager, Dr. Jadish Kalanisa. Please welcome sir with a huge round of applause. Come on. Let's welcome sir with a huge round of applause. Our respected founder manager, Dr. Jagdish Gandhi sir is there on the stage. Paramadani. Shrimati Jyotsana Atul Didi Ji, Principal of CMS RDSO, Respected Teachers of RDSO Campus, Koi Gari Bahar Khadi Hai, UP 32EJ 2365, गेट नंबर नाइन पर तो ये जरा आर के सिंह की जो मकान है उसके सामने तो जरा गाड़ी को हटा दे क्योंकि उनकी गाड़ी अपने मकान में अंदर नहीं जा पा रही क्योंकि आपने गाड़ी अपनी उनके गेट के सामने खड़ी कर दी है ये टू थ्री सिक्स फाइव ये गाड़ी जो है ये कृपया तुरंत हटा दें आर के सिंह के सामने खड़ी डियर पेरेंट्स प्लीज कैन आई हैव योर टेंशन फॉर अ मिनट डियर पेरेंट्स आई यू लिस्टिंग आई यू विद मी देर इज अ कार व्हिच हैज बीन पार्क ऑन समबडीज गेट एंड दे आर नॉट एबल टू टेक देयर कार इनसाइड देयर होम द नंबर ऑफ द कार इज यूपी 32 ईज 2365 So in case you are here, I once again repeat UP 32 EJ 2365. Teachers, if you could just set the message downstairs as well in the basement halls, and we request you to please remove the car from there. Thank you. Thank you. आपके परमाणुनीय सभी हमारे पेरेंट्स और ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स का मैं बहुत-बहुत स्वागत और अभिनंदन करता हूँ। परमाणुनीय श्री गोपचाप हमारे बीच में और आदरणीय सभी पेरेंट्स और ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स का बहुत-बहुत स्वागत और अभिनंदन है। अभिभावक गण हमारे स्कूल की जो एक प्रार्थना है इसका अर्थ जानना बहुत जरूरी है सभी पेरेंट्स को ताकि बच्चों को वो ठीक से समझा सके प्रार्थना बहुत सिंपल है छोटी है लेकिन बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण है प्रार्थना में कहते हैं आई वी आर विटनेस 
O oh my God, the Thou hast created me to know Thee and to worship Thee. मैं साक्षी देता हूँ हे मेरे परमेश्वर हे मेरे परमात्मा कि तूने मुझे इसलिए उत्पन्न किया है कि मैं तुझे जानूं और तेरी पूजा करूं परमात्मा को जानने के मानिए उसकी शिक्षाओं को जानना और उसकी पूजा करने के मानिए उन शिक्षाओं पर चलना तो मनुष्य का जन्म इस संसार में हर मनुष्य का जन्म केवल एक चीज के लिए हुआ है और वो ये कि परमात्मा को अपने रचनाकार को जिसने हमें बनाया है उस ईश्वर को हम जाने और उसकी पूजा करें तो जानने के मानिए उसकी शिक्षाओं को जाने उसकी शिक्षाएं उसने जो भेजी है वो अपने संदेश वाहकों के द्वारा मैसेंजर्स ऑफ गॉड के द्वारा भेजी है साढ़े सात हजार वर्ष को राम आए और उन्होंने मर्यादा का पाठ हमें परमात्मा से ला दिया कि हमारा जीवन मर्यादित हो उसके बाद पांच हजार वर्ष पूर्व भगवान कृष्ण आए उन्हें दिव्य ज्ञान गीता का प्राप्त हुआ और गीता में था न्यायार्थ अपने बंधु को भी दंड देना धर्म है फॉर द सेक ऑफ जस्टिस इवन इफ यू टू पनिश योर ब्रदर योर फैमिली मेंबर्स पनिश देम बट जस्टिस मस्ट बी अपेड तो ये न्याय की शिक्षा मिली ये भी सारी दुनिया के प्रत्येक प्राणी के लिए ये न्याय आवश्यक है अन्याय न करे क्योंकि न्याय नहीं करेगा तो अन्याय करेगा और अन्याय करेगा तो अव्यवस्था होगी और जो भी अन्याय करेगा उसका विनाश होगा और कृष्ण के चले जाने के ढाई हजार वर्ष के बाद यानी आज से ढाई हजार वर्ष राम आए साढ़े सात हजार वर्ष को राम के चले जाने के बाद उनकी देहांत के बाद उनकी मृत्यु के बाद ढाई हजार वर्ष बाद यानी आज से पांच हजार वर्ष को कृष्ण का आगमन हुआ और कृष्ण की मृत्यु के ढाई हजार वर्ष के बाद भगवान बुद्ध का आगमन इस धरती पर हुआ उन्होंने क्या सम्य ज्ञान दिया सब बराबर है ये ऊंच नीच गलत है उन्होंने कहा कि वर्ण व्यवस्था ये परमात्मा की बनाई हुई नहीं है ये मनुष्यों की बनाई है ब्राह्मण है क्षत्रिय है वैश्य है शूद्र है वो बड़े हैं ये नीचे हैं ऊंचे हैं नीचे हैं इस तरह की जो व्यवस्था है ये गलत है ये परमात्मा ने नहीं बनाई ये मनुष्यों की बनाई है और उसके बाद उपजातियां बन गई अनेक उपजातियों में बढ़ गई ब्राह्मणों की अनेक उपजातियां क्षत्रियो में अनेक उपजातियां और फिर वैश्यो में भी अनेक उपजातियां और शूद्रों में भी अनेक उपजातियां बन गई तो जातियों और उपजातियों में ये पूरा समाज बटके रह गया है तो ये बुद्ध जी ने कहा ये बहुत ही दुखदायी है समाज एक है परमात्मा ने सबको ऊंचा नीचा किसी को नहीं बनाया सबको बराबर बनाया और फिर भी ये ऊंच नीच की भावना फैलती जा रही है तो ये गलत है तो अपने बच्चों को इससे बचाना चाहिए और उनकी मृत्यु के उन्हें बुद्ध की मृत्यु के 500 सौ बरस के बाद यानी आज से दो हजार वर्ष पूर्व यीशु मसीह का आगमन हुआ और उन्होंने करुणा का एक संदेश दिया कि मानव जीवन में करुणा हो दया हो यहाँ तक कि उन्हें सूली दी जा रही थी कीले ठोकी जा रही थी और उन्हें मार रहे थे लोग तो वो प्रार्थना कर रहे थे हे परमात्मा तू इन्हें माफ कर दे जो मुझे मार रहे हैं मुझे सूली दे रहे हैं क्योंकि तो अबोध और अज्ञानी है इनके माता पिता ने और इनके शिक्षकों ने इन्हें ईश्वर का ज्ञान ही नहीं कराया बोध ही नहीं है इनको आत्मा का तो ये तो अज्ञानी है इसलिए ये अपराधी नहीं है तो परमात्मा ने कहा ईसा तू ठीक कहता है मैं इनको माफ कर देता हूँ इन सबको माफ कर दिया ईसा स्वर्ग से जागे और ये लोगों के हृदय 
बदल गए जिन लोगों ने मारा था और इन्होंने ईटा की शिक्षाओं को सारे संसार में फैला दिया ईटा की मृत्यु के करीब 600 वर्ष के बाद यानी आज से 1400 वर्ष को मक्का में एक अरेबिया में मोहम्मद साहब का हजरत मोहम्मद साहब का जन्म होता है उन्हें तेरह वर्षों तक मौत के साए में जीना पड़ा मक्का में और तेरह वर्षों के बाद वो मक्के से मदीने गए और कातिलों ने जब देखा कि मक्का में कहीं दिखाई नहीं पड़ रहे मोहम्मद वो मारना चाहते थे उस दिन तय कर लिया था कि आज तो मारना ही है तो जब दिखाई नहीं पड़े तो उनमें से बहुत बड़े दल चारों तरफ गए और एक दल उसमें से मदीने की तरफ ही गया और उन मोहम्मद साहब के साथ जो कुछ लोग थे उन्होंने देखा कि बहुत बड़ा दल उन्हें मारने के लिए आ रहा है बड़ी बड़ी तलवारें लेकर तो वो अभी सीनिया भागे तो इन लोगों ने अभी सीनिया तक पीछा किया मोहम्मद साहब को बहुत तकलीफें दी और मोहम्मद साहब को कुरान शरीफ खुदा की तरफ से नाजिल हुई तो वो मोहम्मद साहब तो पढ़े लिखे थे नहीं तो अपने एक दो लोग थे अपने कुछ जानते थे लिखना पढ़ना तो उनसे कहते थे कि देखो फरिश्ता आके ये अल्लाह की तालीम दे गया है इस तालीम को नोट कर लो तो वो सूखी जो तार के पत्ते होते हैं खजूर के पत्ते उन पर सूखे पत्तों पर नोट कर ली जाती थी या भेड़ की सूखी खारों पर वो नोट कर ली जाती थी और वो कुरान शरीफ पर कुरान शरीफ की जो पहली आयत है वो है खुदा रबुल आलमीन है मैंने वो आलमीन का रब है रब माने परमात्मा तो ये धरती का रब है सृष्टि का रब है एक खुदा ने ये सारी दुनिया बनाई सूरज चांद धरती आकाश और सारे इंसानों को बनाने वाला एक खुदा है एक अल्लाह है एक परमात्मा है एक गॉड है उसके नाम अनेक हैं आप खुदा कहें अल्लाह कहें ईश्वर कहें गॉड कहें तो जितनी भाषाएं उतने उसके नाम है झगड़ा किस बात का है कि ये पानी है या वाटर है कोई बच्चा कहता है कि ये तो पानी है एक बच्चा कहता है ये तो वाटर है और उन दोनों में झगड़ा हो रहा है तो समझदार टीचर ने बताया कि तुम पानी को या वाटर को ये तो एक ही चीज है इसी तरह ईश्वर तो एक है दो नहीं है राम का कृष्ण का बुद्ध का मोहम्मद का नानक का ईता का बाप का बाहुल्ला का जोराष्ट्र का मोजिद का इब्राहिम का भगवान महावीर का एक ही परमात्मा है एक आध दर्जन खुदा नहीं है एक आध दर्जन अल्लाह नहीं है एक आध दर्जन परमात्मा ईश्वर नहीं है तो एक ही एक ही है उसके नाम अनेक है उसके नाम तो हजारों भाषा है इस संसार में हजारों उसके नाम है हजारों नाम से पुकारा जाता है लेकिन वो एक है चाहे मंदिर में प्रार्थना करे या मस्जिद में या गिरजे में या गुरुद्वारे में सुन को सुनने वाला एक खुदा है एक ईश्वर है एक गॉड है और दो नहीं है और उसको जैसे एक बहुत बढ़िया यहाँ पे कार्यक्रम हुआ जिसमें कहा बच्चों ने कि ईश्वर अल्लाह वाहे गुरु चाहे कहें श्री राम सबका मालिक एक है अलग अलग है नाम तो मालिक तो सबका एक है तो ये तो नाम अलग अलग है तो इसलिए आप कुछ भी कहें तो ये बातें बच्चों को बताना बहुत जरूरी है कि ईश्वर एक है और धर्म भी एक है और मानव जाति भी एक है और ये जो अलग अलग भाषाएं अलग अलग नाम है ये सब अलग भाषाओं की वजह से ये ऐसा लगता है कि अलग अलग है अब कोई कहता है कि तेरा अल्लाह बड़ा है कि मेरा भगवान बड़ा है अरे अल्लाह और भगवान तो एक ही बात है दो है ही तो कौन बड़ा है बड़ा छोटा कोई है ही नहीं अल्लाह एक ही है न बड़ा है न छोटा है ईश्वर एक ही है 
उसको अल्लाह कहें या ईश्वर कहें तो ये तो गॉड कहें या रब कहें या वाहे गुरु कहें तो ये तो एक ही बात है तो ये तो फिर मोहम्मद साहब आए 600 वर्ष के बाद यानी आज से 1400 वर्ष पूर्व एक हजार वर्ष पूर्व और उनकी मृत्यु के 900 वर्ष के बाद गुरु नानक देव जी का आगमन होता है 500 वर्ष पूर्व और उन्होंने कहा अब अल्लाह नूर उपाया कुदरत के सब बंदे और एक नूर थे सब जग उप कौन भले कौन बंदे ये सारा जग एक परमात्मा से उत्पन्न हुआ है किसी को भला बुरा नहीं कहना चाहिए और उन्होंने कहा कि नानक नाम चढ़ती कला कब जब तेरे बाने सर्वत दावत नानक का नाम तुझे ईश्वर की ओर ले जाने का मार्ग तो है लेकिन शर्त है कब जब तेरे बाने सर्वत दावला तेरे हृदय में सर्वत यानी सबकी भलाई की भावना होगी तब और नानक जी की मृत्यु के 300 सौ वर्ष के बाद ईरान देश में बाउला का आगमन हुआ उनकी घोषणा करने के लिए बाब आए उनको साढ़े सात से गोलियों से एक साथ साढ़े सात सौ सैनिकों ने उन्हें तरबीज के चौराहे पर खड़ा करके मार दिया बीस हजार उनके अनुयायियों को फॉलोअर्स को कतलेआम कर दिया ईरान देश के अंदर और वो घोषणा करने आए थे कि मेरे बाद एक बहुत बड़े अवतार बाहुल्ला आने वाले जो इस युग में एक नया संदेश देंगे युग को बदल देंगे और वो संदेश था उनके उन्होंने कहा कि एक कर दे हृदय अपने सेवकों के हे प्रभु तो एक हृदय एक कर दे हृदय अपने सेवकों के हे प्रभु और हृदय कब एक होंगे जब पवित्र होंगे तो माता पिता भाई बहन दादा दादी घर में बड़े भाई बहन छोटे भाई बहन सबके हृदय पवित्र हो जाए और सबके हृदय एक हो जाए तो घर में स्वर्ग आ जाएगा तो बाहुल्ला ने कहा कि जितने परिवार हैं वो सब हृदय मिलाकर एक हो जाए और बाकी मोहल्ले में एकता हो जाए तो मोहल्ले में स्वर्ग आएगा नगर में या प्रांत में या गांव में या देश में और दुनिया में सब में हृदय पवित्र हो जाए और एक हो जाए तो स्वर्ग आ जाएगा और एक नहीं होंगे तो फिर तो देख लीजिए जो इस समय रशिया में और यूक्रेन में युद्ध चल रहा है तो दस महीने से ऊपर हो गए लाखों लोग यूक्रेन के मार दिए गए हैं हजारों घर तबाह हो गए शहर के शहर खंडर बना दिए गए हैं तो यही होगा यदि एकता नहीं होगी तो यही विनाश लीला होगी और आज यहाँ वर्ल्ड यूनिटी की प्रेयर के पहले विनाश दिखाया गया कि ये जो विनाश हो रहा है वो एकता की कमी के कारण है तो एकता की कमी के कारण ही सब कुछ होता है तो अब ये होली में और ईद में हम गले मिलते हैं हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई बाहुल्ला ने कहा गले मिलने से काम नहीं चलेगा हृदय मिलने से काम चलेगा तो उन्होंने कहा हे प्राणी मेरा प्रथम परामर्श ये है कि तू एक शुद्ध दयालु और ईश्वरीय प्रकाश से प्रकाशित हृदय धारण कर ताकि इस पृथ्वी का अनंत साम्राज्य तेरा हो उमाई गॉड उमाई गॉड यूनाइट दर्ट ऑफ दाई सर्वेंट्स एंड रिवील टू देम द ग्रेट पर्पज मे दे फॉलो दाई कमांडमेंट एंड अबाइड इन दाई लॉ हेल्प दम ओ गॉड इन देयर एंड एवर एंड ग्रांड दिस्टेंस टू सर दी ओ गॉड लीव दम नॉट टू दम सेल्स बट गाइड दे स्टेप by the light of thy knowledge and share their hearts by thy love verily thou art their earth and their lord to unhone bahut achhi shikshaye di unhone kaha ki world ki parliament banao world ki government banao world ko objective banao world ki ek currency ho world mein ek bhasha ho jo matrabhasha aur rashtrabhasha ke sath sath padhai jaye istri aur purush ki samanta ho science should be based on रिलीजियस एथिकल प्रिंसिपल ऑफ स्पिरिचुअलिटी और जो मनुष्य का जीवन है 
वो साइंस और रिलीजन का समन्वय उसके जीवन में होना जरूरी है तो धर्म जो हो वो विज्ञान सम्मत हो तो उन्होंने कहा कि एक अर्थव्यवस्था हो दुनिया की एक पॉलिटिकल ऑर्डर हो एक इकोनॉमिक ऑर्डर हो तो उन्होंने बहुत सारी बातें कही उन्होंने कहा कि सबसे बड़ी चीज है कि तुम्हारा हृदय पवित्र हो तो मेन चीज है हृदय की पवित्रता यदि पवित्र है तो फिर एकता हो जाएगी तो इसमें राम की मर्यादा कृष्ण का न्याय बुद्ध की समता ईसी मसीह की करुणा मोहम्मद का भाईचारा नानक का त्याग बाहुल्ला की हृदय की एकता ये सारी शिक्षाएं एक परमात्मा से आई है तो बाहुल्ला ने कहा द बेसिक पर्पज ऑफ ऑल द रिलीजन इज टू सेव गाड द इंटरेस्ट एंड प्रमोट द यूनिटी ऑफ द ह्यूमन रेस एंड टू फर्स्टर द स्पिरिट ऑफ लव एंड फेलोशिप अमस्ट मैन तो हर धर्म का एक ही उद्देश्य है मूल उद्देश्य है एक और वो है द हर धर्म का एक ही उद्देश्य है द बेसिक पर्पज ऑफ ऑल द रिलीजन इज टू सेफ गार्ड द इंटरेस्ट मानव हितों की रक्षा करना सेफ गार्ड द इंटरेस्ट एंड प्रमोट द यूनिटी ऑफ द ह्यूमन रेस और मानव मात्र में एकता पैदा करना प्रमोट द यूनिटी ऑफ द ह्यूमन रेस एंड टू फर्स्टर द स्पिरिट ऑफ लव एंड फेलोशिप अमंग मैन आपस में प्रेम भाव और मित्रता सब में हो जाए ये धर्म हर धर्म का एक ही उद्देश्य है और ये परमात्मा ने दिव्य ज्ञान एक दिन में नहीं भेजा साढ़े सात हजार वर्ष पूर्व मर्यादा का ज्ञान भेजा पांच हजार वर्ष पूर्व न्याय की शिक्षा भेजी ढाई हजार वर्ष पूर्व समता की शिक्षा भेजी तो दो हजार वर्ष पूर्व करुणा की और चौदह सौ वर्ष पूर्व भाईचारे की और पांच सौ वर्ष पूर्व त्याग की और तीन सौ वर्ष दो सौ वर्ष पूर्व इनकी बाहुल्ला की हृदय की एकता की तो ये प्रोग्रेसिव रेवल्यूशन मीन्स रिलीजियस ट्रूथ इज रिवील्ड बाय गॉड एक परमात्मा से सारी किताबें आई हैं ये सारी किताबें गीता कुरान बाइबल गुरु ग्रंथ साहब एक ही परमात्मा से आई हैं क्योंकि परमात्मा एक ही है अनेक है ही नहीं तो एक ही परमात्मा से आई है ऑल दीज होली बुक्स आर अनिंग आई कलेक्टेड विजम इनमें कोई त्रुट नहीं है सारे संसार के सारे विद्वान मिल जाएं और गीता में या कुरान में या बाइबल में या गुरु ग्रंथ साहब में या किताब एकदस में किताब एजाविस्ता में कोई कमी निकालना चाहे कोई कोमा फुल स्टॉप लगाना चाहे तो घटा बढ़ा नहीं सकते क्योंकि ये तो दिव्य वाणी है ये अवतारों की वाणी नहीं है ये तो एक खुदा की अल्लाह की परमात्मा की वाणी है और परमात्मा गलती नहीं करता है जिसका जन्म होता है उसकी गलती होती है परमात्मा का कभी जन्म नहीं होता न उसकी मृत्यु होती है अवतारों की मृत्यु तो होती है राम कृष्ण बुद्ध मोहम्मद नानक ईसा बाप बाहुल्ला जो राष्ट्र मोजिद अब्राहम भगवान महावीर इन सब की मृत्यु हुई क्योंकि तो इनका जन्म हुआ जन्म हुआ तो मृत्यु हो गई लेकिन परमात्मा की कभी मृत्यु नहीं होती वो आत्म तत्व है वो आत्मा है और उसको न तो तलवार काट सकती है न पानी गला सकता है न अग्नि उसे जला सकती है न वायु उसे सुखा सकती है तो आत्मा अजर और अमर है और वही परमात्मा की आत्मा अजर अमर है तो उसको जानना परमात्मा को जानना माने उसकी शिक्षाओं को जानना और उस पर चलना ये पूजा है लोग तो रिचुअल्स करते हैं बहुत रिचुअल्स कर्म कांड करते हैं तो रिचुअल्स आर नॉट ए वर्शिप एट ऑल तो अपने बच्चों को कम से कम रिचुअल से बचाएं उन्हों कहे कि ईश्वर की शिक्षाओं को जानो और उन पर चलो तो ईश्वर की शिक्षाओं पर चलेंगे तो आपका फायदा होगा और ईश्वर केवल आपका फायदा ही चाहता है ईश्वर केवल हमारा कल्याण चाहता है इसके लिए शिक्षाएं भेजी तो हम जो हमारे कल्याण के लिए शिक्षाएं परमात्मा ने 
भेजी है कौन हम परमात्मा की संतान है तो हम उन शिक्षाओं को न जाने और न चले तो हमारा ही नुकसान होगा तो हमें अपने फायदे में उन शिक्षाओं पर चलना चाहिए और शिक्षाओं को जानना चाहिए तो इसमें यही है कि मैं साक्षी देता हूं हे मेरे परमेश्वर कि तूने मुझे इसलिए उत्पन्न किया है कि मैं तुझे जानू अर्थात तेरी शिक्षाओं को जानू और तेरी पूजा करूं अर्थात उन शिक्षाओं पर चल के अपनी कल्याण करूं अपनी भलाई करूं अपना फायदा करूं और परमात्मा तभी खुश होगा जब हम अपना फायदा करेंगे और अपना नुकसान करेंगे तो परमात्मा दुखी होता है कि मेरी संतान है और मैंने इतनी अच्छी अच्छी शिक्षाएं भेजी हैं इन पर न चल के ये कर्म कांड करने में लगे टाइम अपना वेस्ट कर रहे हैं तो परमात्मा को दुख होता है परमात्मा तभी दुखी होगा जबकि हम परमात्मा की शिक्षाओं पर चल करके अपने जीवन को सुंदर बनाए तब परमात्मा को आनंद होगा कि मेरी संतानें सुखी हैं लेकिन दुखी होते हैं तो फिर वो परमात्मा को सुख नहीं दे सकता है तो ये छोटी सी बात है तो आई वी विटनेस टू माई गॉड दास क्रिएटेड मी टू नो दी एंड टू वर्ष दी आई टेस्ट टू माई पावर एंड टू दाई माइट तू शक्तिशाली है मैं शक्तिन तेरी शक्ति क्या है परमात्मा कहता है who so ever has recognized me will arise and serve me with such determination that the powers of the earth and heaven shall be enabled to defeat his purpose jo koi mujhe pehchan lega use dharti aur aakash ki koi bhi shakti meri seva se use rok nahi sakti who so ever has recognized me to parmatma ko janane ke mari uski shikshaon ko jo jaan lega use फिर कोई शक्ति नहीं रोक पाएगी प्रभु की सेवा से और तुम्हारी पावर्टी एंड टू दाई वेल्थ तू धन धन्य से पूर्ण है मैं निर्धन परमात्मा कहता है कि जो कोई मुझे पहचान लेगा वो रुक नहीं सकता ईसा को सूई दे दी गई कीड़े ठोकी गई और मोहम्मद को तेरह वर्षों तक मौत के साय में जीना पड़ा राम को चौदह वर्ष के लिए बनवास हुआ कृष्ण को मारने के लिए कंस ने कोई कसर नहीं छोड़ी बुद्ध को मारने के लिए अंजलि माल ने कोई कसर नहीं छोड़ी और बावला को चालीस वर्षों तक जेल में रखा गया और घसीटा गया तेहरान की सड़कों पर दोनों हाथों में रस्ते बांध दिए जाते थे और उनको घसीटा जाता था और लोग धूल फेंकते थे कंकड़ पत्थर मारते थे और उनको चार देशों में देश निकाला हुआ उन्हें तीन महीने के लिए डंजिन में डाला गया जहां राजा के महल का गंदा पानी आता रहा था नसरुद्दीन शाह के महल का और जिसमें झिंगूर थे मच्छर थे रेप्टाइल्स थे छिपकली थी सर्फ थे और वहां बड़ी बड़ी लोहे की जंदीर है गले में डाल दी गई पैरों में डाल दी गई और वहां उन्हें दिव्य ज्ञान प्राप्त होता है और उसमें वो कहते हैं हे प्राणी मेरा प्रथम परामर्श है कि तू एक शुद्ध दयालु और ईश्वरीय प्रकाश से प्रकाशित हृदय धारण कर ताकि पृथ्वी का अनंत साम्राज्य तेरा हो पद प्योर काइंडली एंड ए रेडियंट आर्ट The dawn may be a sovereignty, ancient, imperishable, and everlasting. So, Bahula ko baat taklif hai di, aur wohi dungeon mein hi divyan prapt hota hai, aur unhone unki ghoshna karne ke liye baab aaye ke aane wale unhone baab Bahula ne ye jo diya hai, to ham log bhi in shikshaon par apne bachon ko chala rahe hain. हम वर्ल्ड की पार्लियामेंट करवाते हैं ताकि बच्चे हमारे बड़े होकर वर्ल्ड की पार्लियामेंट और विश्व की समस्याओं के बारे में विचार करें विश्व की समस्याओं को हल करने के बारे में ऊंची सोच उनकी बने तो हमारे यहाँ वर्ल्ड यूनिटी की प्रेरणा सिखाई जाती है एक दिन दुनिया 
एक करूंगा धरती स्वर्ग बनाऊंगा विश्व शांति का सपना एक दिन सच करके दिखलाऊंगा तो बच्चों में ये भावना धर्म प्रार्थना सिखाई जा रही है एक ही छत है इसके नीचे सब धर्मों की प्रार्थना हो रही है एक ही छत के नीचे हो अब सब धर्मों की प्रार्थना परम पिता है एक सभी का समय हो ये भावना तो बच्चों के मन में ये सारी चीजें डाली जा रही है ईश्वर एक है धर्म एक है मानवता एक है और विश्व एक परिवार है वर्ल्ड को यूनाइट करना है इसके लिए वर्ल्ड की पार्लियामेंट बनानी है तो बच्चों को अभी से उसकी ट्रेनिंग दी जा रही है ताकि उनकी चिंतन में सोच में ऊंचाई आवे और वो बड़े बड़े काम करने की तय करें इस दुनिया को एक करने की तय करें अपने मन में तो ये विचार है तो टू माई पॉवर्टी एंड टू दाई वेल्थ अब तू धन धन से पूरे इन अवतारों का धन क्या है इनको जो दुख मिले यही इनका धन है आध्यात्मिक धन ईश्वर की राह में बहुत कष्ट सहन किए बहुत ज्यादा तकलीफें सहन की और हम लोगों को हे परमात्मा शक्ति दे कि हम भी कुछ दुख तेरी राह में तेरे लिए सहन कर सके तो ऐसी शक्ति हमें दे तो तू तो धन धान से पूर्ण है तो तेरा धन ये आध्यात्मिक धन है और तेरे पास बल है आत्मा का राम चौदह वर्ष के लिए बनवास चले गए इतनी शक्ति आत्मा का बल आ गया उनमें तो ये जो आत्मा का बल है ये बहुत बड़ी चीज है इसे अपने बच्चों में पैदा करना तो तुम्हारी पावर्टी एंड लेवल तो दूसरी चीज है कि प्रोग्रेसिव रिवोल्यूशन इज रिलीजियस ट्रूथ इज रिवील्ड बाय गॉड प्रोग्रेसिवली एंड साइक्लिकली ओवर ए टाइम थ्रू ए सीरीज ऑफ डिवाइन टीचर्स एंड देयर टीचिंग्स आर टेलर्ड टू सूट द नीड्स ऑफ डिफरेंट एजेस एंड प्लेसेस ऑफ देयर अपीयरेंस और ऑल द रिवील्ड बुक्स ऑफ गॉड आर अनरिंग एंड कलेक्टेड विजडम दो बातें हैं ये जितनी किताबें हैं ये अनरिंग है इनमें कोई टूट नहीं है और ये कलेक्टेड विजडम है परमात्मा ने सारी बुद्धिमत्ता एकत्रित एक करके कलेक्ट करके इन किताबों में भर दी है और हमने ताकि हम सफल हो जीवन में ताकि हम जीवन में सुखी हो संपन्न हो इसलिए ये किताबें परमात्मा ने भेजी है हमारे लिए तो ये परमात्मा ने एक ही परमात्मा ने भेजी है यूट्यूब में भेजी है तो परमात्मा तो एक ही है तो युग युग में ये किताबें आई हैं और सब हमारी भलाई के लिए आई हैं तो टू माई पॉवर्टी एंड टू दाई वेल्थ देर इज नन अदर गॉड तेरे अतिरिक्त कोई और ईश्वर नहीं है देर इज नन अदर गॉड बट दी द हेल्प इन पेर द सेल्फ सब्सिस्टिंग तू सेल्फ सब्सिस्टिंग है तुझे किसी की संसार के किसी व्यक्ति की सहायता की आवश्यकता नहीं है और संकट में सहायक है मनुष्य का सबसे बड़ा संकट क्या है उसके अंदर कोई ऐसा विचार आ जाए जो ईश्वरीय नहीं है उससे बड़ा कोई और संकट नहीं है सबसे बड़ा संकट है मनुष्य का सबसे बड़ा पैरिड है कि कोई विचार उसके अंदर गंदा आ जाए ईश्वरीय जो नहीं है वो आ जाए तो बुरा विचार आ जाए इससे बड़ा कोई और संकट नहीं है क्योंकि बुरा विचार आएगा तो बुरे काम होंगे और बुरा काम करेगा तो बुरे परिणाम होंगे तो जीवन बर्बाद हो जाता है तो विचारों से ही जीवन बर्बाद होता है तो बच्चों के विचारों को ऊंचा बनाने के लिए अच्छा बनाने के लिए हर माता पिता को और शिक्षकों को कोशिश करनी चाहिए ताकि उनके विचार पवित्र हों और ऊंचे हों तो मैं अब इस प्रार्थना की बात मैं खत्म करता हूं अब इस चित्र के माध्यम से मैं थोड़ा सा बताऊंगा ये एक बालक है इस बच्चे के मस्तिष्क में माता पिता और शिक्षक 
कौन से विचार बन रहे ए चाइल्ड और यूथ इज द होप एंड प्रॉमिस ऑफ द फ्यूचर यही बच्चा हमारी आशा की किरण है और कल का भविष्य क्या हो, होगा इस बच्चे के मस्तिष्क में आज जो हम विचार बनेंगे ऐसा ही बालक बन जाएगा क्योंकि सब कॉन्शियस माइंड में अब चेतन मन में जो विचार हम उत्पन्न करते हैं वो धीरे धीरे करके बालक के चेतन मन में सब कॉन्शियस माइंड से कॉन्शियस माइंड में जाने लगते हैं और अब चेतन से चेतन मन में जब आने लगते हैं तो बालक जैसे जैसे बड़ा होता है तो जो सीखा है उसका आचरण वो करने लगता है यदि घर में माता पिता अच्छी बातें करते हैं प्रार्थना करते हैं तो बच्चा प्रार्थना सीख लेगा अच्छी बातें सीख लेगा यदि माता पिता में झगड़ा होता है लड़ाई झगड़ा होता है तो बच्चा भी लड़ाई झगड़ा सीख लेगा यदि माता पिता में कोई बुराई है तो बुराई भी सीख लेगा अच्छाई है तो वो भी सीख लेगा बच्चे के तीन करेक्टर होते हैं इननेट इनहेरिटेड एंड एक्वायर्ड इननेट करेक्टर प्रभु प्रदत्त है ये परमात्मा से प्राप्त होता है इसमें कोई हमारा वर्ष नहीं है कुछ हम कर नहीं सकते ये जन्म जात एक मूल प्रवृत्तियां आती हैं मनुष्य के साथ में तो ये इननेट करेक्टर कहलाता है और दूसरा इनहेरिटेड माता पिता के जीव से जो उसे करेक्टर प्राप्त होता है वो एक चरित्र होता है और तीसरा है बालक दो आंखों से देखकर दो कानों से सुनकर ऑडियो और विजुअल के द्वारा जो अनुभूतियां इस संसार में प्राप्त करता है वो एक्वायर्ड करेक्टर होता है वो अपने परिवार से विद्यालय के टीचर से विद्यालय के बच्चों से प्राप्त करता है तो इसलिए बहुत जरूरी है उसकी कंपनी अच्छी हो अच्छे बच्चों की हो खराब बच्चों की कंपनी न हो तो ये बहुत ही आवश्यक है उसके मित्र कैसे हैं ईश्वर भक्त हो उनको ही मित्र बनाना चाहिए तो ये अच्छा यहाँ पर है ए वन चाइल्ड और यूथ इज मेड ए टोटल क्वालिटी पर्सन ठीक यू पी ही कैन चेंज द वर्ल्ड एंड यूनाइटेड एक बच्चे को हम टोटल क्वालिटी पर्सन बना दें तो टोटल क्वालिटी पर्सन या टोटल क्वालिटी मैनेजर को ये गुण होने चाहिए इसमें है कि बच्चे में यहाँ से जैसे बाल कह रहा है कि आई एम ए मेटेल बींग आई एम ए ह्यूमन बींग आई एम ए डिवाइन बींग सबसे पहले मैं भौतिक प्राणी हूँ तो मुझे भौतिक ज्ञान अंग्रेजी भूगोल गणित विज्ञान फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री जोलॉजी बॉटनी लैंग्वेज लिटरेचर ह्यूमैनिटीज सोशल साइंसेस इन सब का कंप्यूटर साइंस जो भी मेरे विषय हैं उनका ज्ञान हो और लेट एवरी चाइल्ड जो बच्चे बैठे उनसे भी मैं कह रहा हूँ लेट एवरी चाइल्ड बी एड विथ क्लास थ्रू हार्ड वर्क एंड टू मेरिट हर बच्चे को अपने क्लास में अब्बर आने की कोशिश करनी चाहिए इस और बच्चों को एक और चीज है स्ट्रेन एवरी नर्व टू अक्वायर बोथ इनर एंड आउटर परफेक्शन फॉर द फ्रूट ऑफ ह्यूमन ट्री एज एवर बींग एंड विल एवर बी परफेक्शन बोथ विद इन एंड विदाउट इट इज नॉट डिजायरेबल दैट मैन बी लेफ्ट रूम विदाउट नॉलेज और स्किल्स फॉर ही देन बट इट बैलिंग ट्री देर फोर सो मच एज अ कैपेसिटी एंड कैपेबिलिटी अलाउ यू मस्ट डेक द ट्री ऑफ अ बींग विद फ्रूट सच एज नॉलेज विजडम स्पिरिचुअल परसेप्शन एंड एलोकेंट स्पीच इक्कीसवीं शताब्दी है हमारी इस शताब्दी में बच्चों को सफल होने के लिए चार चीजें चाहिए नॉलेज ज्ञान जो समझा हुआ हो रटा हुआ न हो मकडप और क्रैंडप नॉलेज नॉलेज नहीं होती वो कोई ज्ञान काम का नहीं आता तो दूसरी चीज है नॉलेज के साथ विजन उस ज्ञान का सदुपयोग प्रॉपर यूज एंड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ नॉलेज वाइजली अकॉर्डिंग टू दी एक्सीजेंसी ऑफ सिचुएशन जो परिस्थिति है उसमें जो ज्ञान आपने प्राप्त किया है उस ज्ञान का सदुपयोग इसे कहते कि विजडम और तीसरी चीज है नॉलेज विजडम स्पिरिचुअल परसेप्शन देखिए ये शरीर तो भौतिक है हमारी सोच भी भौतिक बन जाए तो आदमी जानवर बन जाएगा 
तुम्हारी सोच आध्यात्मिक होनी चाहिए शरीर जानवर का शरीर तो भौतिक होता ही है उसकी सोच भी केवल इतनी होती है कि खाने को कहा मिलेगा क्या मिलेगा बस इसके अलावा कुछ नहीं है तो भौतिक सोच है तो जानवर वो कह रहा था और मनुष्य की सोच भी यदि केवल भौतिक हो जाए तो जानवर बनेगा तो इसलिए परसेप्शन दृष्टिकोण हमारा ईश्वरीय हो आध्यात्मिक हो तो ये बच्चों का दृष्टिकोण आध्यात्मिक बनाना चाहिए और चौथी चीज है एलोकेंट स्पीच और इसके लिए तुम्हें जो स्नातुल दीदी जी को और उनके टीचर्स को जितनी भी बधाई दू वो बहुत कम होगी आज जो बच्चों की एलोकेंस हमने देखी जो फ्लॉरस बच्चे अंग्रेजी बोल रहे थे वर्ल्ड पार्लियामेंट में हम तो सोच रहे थे कि दीदी मुझे अपना दाखिला दे दे अभी भी तो मैं दाखिला ले लू तो मैं भी इन बच्चों की तरह फ्लुएंट हो जाऊं ये बच्चे इतना फ्लुएंट थे इतना फ्लॉरस और इतना बोल्ड स्पीकर थे इतना लूसिड स्पीकर स्पीच थी उनकी के जितनी भी तारीफ की जाए वो बहुत कम होगी और बहुत जरूरी है ये जो एलोकेंट एलोकेंस स्पीच है बहुत जरूरी है ताकि हमारे बच्चे दुनिया के किसी भी कोने में जाए तो वहां पर वो इंग्लिश में बात कर सके और इंग्लिश में बोल सके और भाषण दे सके ताकि सारे दुनिया का एप्रिशिएशन वो प्राप्त कर सके बड़ी बड़ी वर्ल्ड की यूनिवर्सिटी में जाए और वहां अपने विद्युता से अपने स्पीकिंग पावर से सबको अपना मित्र बना ले तो दुनिया भर को अपना मित्र बना सकते हैं तो ये बहुत जरूरी है तो चार चीजें जरूरी है नॉलेज विजडम स्पिरिचुअल परसेप्शन और एलोकेंट स्पीच चार चीजें अपने बच्चों को जरूर सिखाइए तो नॉलेज मैंने रटा हुआ ज्ञान नहीं समझा हुआ ज्ञान ज्ञान के बारे में कहते हैं कि जिन खो जा तिन पाइया गहरे पानी बैठ जो अंग्रेजी हो भूगोल हो गणित हो अर्थशास्त्र हो पॉलिटिकल साइंस हो कोई भी शास्त्र हो तो उसकी गहराई में जाएंगे तब उन्हें ज्ञान प्राप्त होगा तो इसलिए नॉलेज विजडम स्पिरिचुअल परसेप्शन एलोकेंट स्पीच अब ये तो मेटीरियल एजुकेशन ह्यूमन एजुकेशन और डिवाइन एजुकेशन ये भौतिक ज्ञान सबसे पहले जरूरी है फिर ह्यूमन एजुकेशन इसलिए जरूरी है कि परिवार में बच्चा है तो दादा दादी हैं माता पिता हैं बड़े भाई बहन हैं छोटे भाई बहन हैं और भी कोई सदस्य हो सकते हैं तो बच्चे को घर में इस तरह से रहना चाहिए कि सबकी आग का तारा बने सबका दुरारा बने सबका प्यारा बने सबके बड़े दादा दादी के पैर छुए आशीर्वाद ले उनका माता पिता के पैर छुए ये कौन सिखाएगा कोई मोहल्ले के कॉर्पोरेटर या एम एल साहब सिखाने नहीं आएंगे ये तो आप ही को सिखाना है कोई मोहल्ला वाला नहीं सिखाएगा केवल आपको सिखाना है कि दादा दादी के पैर छो मम्मी पापा के पैर छूके आशीर्वाद लो तो ये चीजें हमारी सभ्यता और संस्कृति का मूल मंत्र है तो ये चीजें बच्चों को सिखाना चाहिए और घर में मम्मी का हाथ बताए काम में पापा का हाथ बताए तो और अपनी पढ़ाई भी दिल लगा के करे तो ये सब चीजें सिखाना चाहिए ह्यूमन एजुकेशन मानवीय शिक्षा और जब वो बड़ा होगा तो वन डे आई विल यूनाइट द वर्ल्ड एक दिन दुनिया एक करूंगा धरती स्वर्ग बनाऊंगा और विश्व शांति का सपना एक दिन सच करके देख लाऊंगा और तीसरी चीज है डिविनिटी उसके अंदर एक आत्म तत्व है इसमें यहां पर आप समझेंगे एक बालक है ये टोटल क्वालिटी पर्सन और टोटल क्वालिटी मैनेजर बनना चाहता है ताकि डिवाइन सिविलाइजेशन धरती पर स्थापित कर सके तो ये दिव्य लोक से अपने आप को जोड़ रहा है ये परमात्मा का लोक है यहीं से गीता आई है पांच हजार वर्ष पूर्व न्याय की शिक्षा आई 
यही से ढाई हजार वर्ष पूर्व त्रिपटक आया बुद्ध की आत्मा में यही इसी परमात्मा से दो हजार वर्ष पूर्व बाइबिल आई ईसी मुशी की आत्मा में करना और यही से हजरत मोहम्मद की आत्मा में कुरान शरीफ आई जिसमें भाईचारा है और यही से पांच सौ वर्ष पूर्व ये साढ़े पांच सौ गलत है पांच सौ कर लीजिएगा गुरु ग्रंथ साहब आया जिसमें त्याग की शिक्षा है टू सेक्रीफाइस है सच्चा सौदा है और दो सौ वर्ष पूर्व यही से किताबें अगदस आई बाउल्ला की आत्मा में उनकी कोई तस्वीर नहीं है इसलिए उनके बेटे जो अब्दुल बहा है जो इंटरप्रेटर थे उनकी शिक्षाओं के उनकी या फोटो लगाई हमने तो यूनिटी ऑफ हार्ट हृदय की एकता की शिक्षा मिली तो तीन बातें और बाउला ने कही द बेसिक पर्पज ऑफ ऑल द रिलीजन इज टू सेफ गार्ड द इंटरेस्ट एंड प्रमोट द यूनिटी ऑफ द ह्यूमन रेस टू फर्स्टर द स्पिरिट ऑफ लव एंड फेलोशिप अमंग मैन दूसरी बात उन्होंने कही कि प्रोग्रेस ऑफ रेवल्यूशन मीन रिलीजियस ट्रूथ इज रिवील्ड बाई गॉड Progressively and cyclically over a time, through a series of divine teachers, and as the teachings are tailored to suit the needs of different ages and places of their appearance. Tisri baat unhon ne kahi, all the revealed books of God are unerring and corrected wisdom. In me koi tuti nahi hai, aur ye Paramatma ne sare wisdom correct karke in kitabon mein bhar diye. There are sorts by one God. एक ईश्वर ने भेजी है एज रिक्वायर्ड फ्रॉम एज टू एज टू ओपन द मेंटल लॉक्स ऑफ मैन काइंड एंड टू क्योर दिलेडीज ऑफ दी एज यू क्यों के दुखों को खत्म कर अब यहां पर एक बलब है पावर हाउस से जुड़ गया तो रोशनी आ गई और तार ये टूट गया डिस्कनेक्ट हो गया तो अंधेरा आ गया यह एक बालक है इसको माता पिता ने और शिक्षकों ने ईश्वर से जोड़ दिया तो क्या बना बालक रैशनल विचारवान और क्या बना वाइज बुद्धिमान और क्या बनेगा गॉडली ईश्वरीय और क्या बनेगा गुड अच्छा इंसान और टोटल क्वालिटी पर्सन टीक्यूपी और टोटल क्वालिटी मैनेजर लाइक ए डिवाइन एंजिल देव दूत की तरह बन जाएगा ए गुड ह्यूमन बीइंग इज ए ब्लेसिंग फॉर ह्यूमन सोसाइटी ईश्वर का मानव जाति के लिए वरदान बन जाएगा और कहीं तार टूट जाए दिव्य लोग से तो क्या बनेंगे बालक इेशनल अविचारवान और क्या बनेंगे बालक अनवाइज अबुद्धिमान और क्या बनेंगे अनगॉडली अनिश्वरीय और क्या बनेंगे बड़े इंसान और क्या बनेंगे टोटली मिसगाइडेड पर्सन कोई मिसगाइड कर दे तो गाइड मिसगाइड हो जाएंगे टीएमपी एंड टोटली मिसगाइडेड मैनेजर टीएमएन लाइक ए एनिमल जानवर की तरह ये बन जाएंगे ए बैड ह्यूमन बींग इज ए कस For human society, totally unworthy and unacceptable to society. इनका गुरु है भोगता हुआ कुत्ता ये दोनों आप देख रहे हैं बच्चे एक दूसरे का जबड़ा पकड़ लिया है और भोंक रहे हैं गालियां कुत्ते की तरह तो एक दूसरे पर गालियां बक रहे हैं इस तरह के बन गए तो जो बच्चे इस तरह के नहीं बन पाते इस तरह के ईश्वर भक्त नहीं बनते वो फिर भोंकते हुए कुत्ते बन जाते हैं बच्चे के तीन क्लासरूम है क्लासरूम नंबर वन इज अ होम फर्स्ट सोर्स ऑफ एम्पावरमेंट है पहला प्राथमिक पाठशाला है क्लासरूम नंबर टू इज स्कूल और यूनिवर्सिटी सेकेंड इज सोर्स ऑफ द्वितीय विद्यालय है स्कूल और यूनिवर्सिटी और तृतीय विद्यालय है क्लासरूम नंबर थ्री इज अ सोसाइटी थर्ड सोर्स ऑफ एम्पावरमेंट है ये समाज तीसरा विद्यालय यहाँ पर पहले विद्यालय में आप देखें मम्मी है पापा है बेटा है बेटी है सब मिलके प्रार्थना कर रहे हैं फैमिली प्रेस टुगेदर स्टेज टुगेदर वो परिवार जो मिलजुल कर प्रार्थना करते हैं मिलजुल कर प्रगति करते हैं और स्टे करते हैं इस घर में गीता भी है कुरान शरीफ भी है बाइबल भी है गुरु ग्रंथ साहब भी है और इस घर के ऊपर दिव्य प्रकाश परम पिता परमात्मा का है सारे अवतारों की शिक्षाएं यहाँ पर बच्चों को समझाई जाती है तो ये घर 21वीं शताब्दी में इस तरह का घर हमें बनाना चाहिए स्कूल कैसा हो स्कूल और यूनिवर्सिटी इज दी लाइट हाउस ऑफ सोसाइटी टू प्रोवाइड मीनिंगफुल एजुकेशन स्पिरिचुअल डायरेक्शन गाइडेंस एंड लीडरशिप टू स्टूडेंट्स पेरेंट्स 
and the society in general. Let us make every child and youth both good and smart, a gift of God to mankind, a pride of the human race, and a potential light of the world. It's a knowledge, wisdom, a spiritual perception, and eloquent speech, universal values, global understanding, service to the world, and experiencing all things. It art good bachelor than it is, bachelor key, perhaps to classroom or like a prayer to the baby, but we may have to do the other to the importance. Or you have a new issue, a permanent person, sorry, kid, I mean, so all the incarnation bring messages only from one and the same God. Sorry, after a permanent person, you do we got lie or in front of my mom's memory. The heart है कि आप लोग भी सब मिलजुल के प्रार्थना करिए और लोगों को बताइए कि ईश्वर एक है दो नहीं है अनेक नहीं है अलग अलग ईश्वर नहीं है लॉ एंड ऑर्डर एंड जस्टिस आर द अर्जेंट नीड ऑफ सोसाइटी गांधी जी ने कहा था इफ वी आर टू टीच द रियल पीस इन दिस वर्ल्ड इफ वी आर टू कैरी ऑन ए रियल वॉर इन दिस वर्ल्ड वी शुड हैव टू बिगिन विद द चिल्ड्रन एंड यूथ महात्मा गांधी ने कहा था ये कहा था Nelson Mandela said that education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Paul Ferry said that education changes the people and people change the world. Victor Hugo said that there is one thing stronger than all the armies in the world and that is an idea whose time has come. Balanced education of all the three realities of life is the idea whose time has come. Thank you very much. God bless you. बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद हमारी बड़ी दीदी को इस विद्यालय को बहुत चमकाने के लिए आज के अत्यंत सुंदर कार्यक्रम करने के लिए बहुत बहुत Thank you, sir, for your motivating words. You always guide us and encourage us. And we always, will always try to follow whatever you try to impart us. Thank you so much, sir. Over to Shriya now.
And now comes Voicetra, the school choir before you.
Just see the excitement on their faces. Looking beautiful in yellow and blue.
Yes, I wanna play a game. Do you wanna play a game? Yes, I wanna play a game. Well, if you wanna play a game, everybody now. And stand up tall, tall as you can. And move from side to side. Hold out one arm and the other arm. Make your body wide. Lift your shoulders up. excitement now the next item would be more exciting for you because it involves our grandparents the treasure of the family the bond is beyond words no one can describe that bond between grandparents and grandchildren so now we have the item for the grandparents
Rashmi Ma'am, I request if all the senior citizens could be made to sit on the chairs which have been provided over here. Our special guest today, clap for the grandparents who are seated in the, on the chairs.
I now request our respected founder director to please come up on stage and address the August gathering. Our respected founder and director. Put your hands together for our respected founder and director. मुझे आज अपनी स्कूल की प्रिंसिपल साहिबा के वो बहुत बहुत बधाई देनी है धन्यवाद देना है मैं उनके तारीफ में एक शेर अर्ज करती हूँ नजर नजर में उतरना कमाल नहीं नफस नफस में उतरना कमाल होता है बुलंदियों पर पहुंचना कमाल नहीं बुलंदियों पर ठहरना कमाल होता सुबह से उन्होंने अभी तक खाने नहीं खाना नहीं खाया है जल नहीं पिया है अब पिएंगी क्योंकि आपके चरणों में आपके बच्चों के अच्छे प्रोग्राम उन्होंने प्रस्तुत कर दिए आप सबके चरणों में मेरा भी प्रणाम आपके आने के लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद है आपका हम लोग पांच घंटे का समय लेते हैं और हम चाहते हैं कि हमारी प्रिंसिपल बच्चों से पांच बार का खाना मंगाए क्योंकि तो बच्चों को हर घंटे पर भूख लगाती है ताकि बच्चे भूखे ना रहें और खुश होकर के यहाँ से उनके माता पिता बच्चों को लेके जाए आज जो हमारे बीच में बच्चों के ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स आए हैं मैं सोचती हूँ कि उन्हीं के आशीर्वाद से ये स्कूल भी चल रहा है मैं आप सबके चरणों में सादर सादर प्रणाम प्रस्तुत करती हूँ श्री गांधी जी को धन्यवाद कि उन्होंने लंबा चौड़ा भाषण दिया एक पेरेंट मेरे पास आए चुप कराओ इन्हें मैंने कहा भैया मेरी हिम्मत नहीं जाके पिटाई करो हो निकाल उतार लाओ स्टेज से तो भैया दिया करो धन्यवाद जय जगत चलते चलते कह देती हूं कि जिन पेरेंट्स के बच्चे आज्ञाकारी नहीं है उनको मैं अगले साल से नहीं पढ़ाऊंगी Can we have a huge round of applause for ma'am? I take great honor and privilege to propose the vote of thanks on this auspicious occasion. Let's let me start by giving glory to the Almighty for the smooth running of the program today. First and foremost, I would like to extend my sincere thanks to our most respected founders for their unflinching support and cooperation. We also thank the principal of Kanpur Road Campus, Ma'am Rita Kamra, for being generous in letting us use the auditorium. I take this opportunity to express my hearty gratitude to the chief guest, Respected Mr. Sanjeev Bhutani, Director General RDSO. Thank you, sir, for glorifying the event with your presence. My heartfelt gratitude to the head of technical department, Mr. R K Singh, and his team members for all the technical help at the head office. For his continuous support and relentless efforts, I also wish to thank Mr. Vedh Prakash and his associate, Mr. Akhand, 
and Mr. Gyan Sharma for providing us the WCC auditorium for the rehearsals as well as for the main day that is today. Many thanks to the GE of this campus, Mr. Arok, for his cooperation. And I also wish to thank Mr. Kaushik for the last minute support and assistance he gave for preparation of the props. I express my heartfelt gratitude for the PTIs and the technical team of RDSO, the dance teacher, the music teacher, and the entire staff of CMS RDSO campus for working around the clock to make this event successful. My wholehearted thanks to our dear parents and grandparents. I also wish to thank our dear, dearest support staff without whom we could not have worked. A big, big round of applause for them. Time to move on, but the power of human excellence and the power of togetherness will always be cherished with us until we meet again. Please stand up for the national anthem.